Hello, welcome to today's high rollers. I was trying to get out of frame. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's you trying to get out of frame. <laughs> last minute thing. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of High Rollers D and D weekly D and D show here on High Rollers D and D on Twitch, as well as High Rollers No Twitch TV forward slash Shogscast. We're on that as well. <laughs> welcome, everyone. I'm your Dungeon Master Mark Sherlock Humes. We've been doing this for five years. Too long. Here are my friends. <laughs> friend. Here are my friends. Ah, I just can't Rhiannon. get that image of Mark Hello. in the fucking background <laughs> out of my head. Well, the just, sort of like just knowing you were trying to be out of frame. <laughs> I'm out of frame. Bro. I'm exactly. out of frame. I'm eating. <laughs> it's like a cat trying to hide. <laughs> Where is he? Where'd he go? D- don't know. Oh, we're DMless. He's off. Right, who's oh, going to start the stream? There he goes. And then he, he just slowly <laughs> rotates out. Oh my god. Where am I? I'm a hidden. I'm invisible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Who said who said you can't have fun playing D&D online at home? Welcome everybody. No one. We got Rhiannon. We got Tom. <laughs> oh, we got Katie. Hello. We got Trot. We got Hi. Kim. We're Hello. gonna play some Dungeons and Dragons, uh, and we're gonna have a lovely, lovely time. How about that? Uh, before we get into anything else, let's give a quick shout out and a big thank you. And Chris Trot's gonna handle this for me to our two sponsors. I believe it's just the two today: pow, pow. D&D Beyond and Mag of Holding. Chris Trot, take it away. Hey, D&D Beyond first, because we all know and love D&D Beyond. So let's just love summarize. D&D for those people that don't know what it is. It's a digital tool set. You just go on a website or you can use an app on your device of choice uh, and gain access to all the features of D&D 5th edition. Easily accessible. You can create characters in an instant. You can even pre-generate them. So you don't even have to roll stats or anything. Uh, You can also roll dice with a dice roller with awesome 3D dice with multiple choices. You get access to all the source books, which are digitized. Uh, and you can search, which you can't do in a book, for individual spells, how they work, instant access to things. There's an encounter builder for DMs, which makes initiative and finding the stats for the monsters super easy. It's just fucking great. Honestly, we'd be <laughs> nothing without it. We'd what be seller? absolute dog shit without it. We'd be like, hold mm-hmm. on, what's my HP? Uh, how I mean, do, no, do I have my spell ability would. modifier? Ugh. That's what I'd be like, at least. Uh, so thank yeah, you, was, D&D Beyond. I was um, human trash before I had but, D&D Beyond. Now I'm human trash with D&D Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Trot, is there not, is there like a quick link that people could click and also support High Rollers, but also visit the amazing D&D Beyond, which it has all be of the D&D that... source books that you can easily search? No, surely not. Wait. Oh, wait, no, there is. Yes, there's there absolutely is. a link. <laughs> check the description, check chat. Whatever, check it. Uh, it's like Bitly Whatever. Uh, HR D and D Beyond 2021. Uh, click that link, and that helps us. If you like us in any way, and you can't monetarily support us, please use these sponsor links to check out our sponsors. For example, what you could do is you could click that link for D and D Beyond. Go on to D and D Beyond, become a subscriber, which not only gets you unlimited character slots and many other great features, but right now you'd also get some exclusive character backdrops and a set of sanguine dice, uh, which you yes. can use in the digital oh, dice roll. They're the squishy they're, ones. They make squishy good. noises. Yeah. yeah, I like them. They have sound <laughs> effects that? and everything, and, and custom animations. It's pretty great. Um, Thanks, D and D Beyond. Thanks, You're D&D the best. Beyond. We love you. We also have a I one-off sponsor today. <gasps> Penny oh. Dragon Games have done it again, everybody. Let me show you what again. they've bloody done. They've okay. started a Kickstarter, it. and it's ending Tuesday. You do not have long. Yar! It's a 100-page supplemental book containing new encounters, NPCs, creatures, items, and even a subclass with spells for all your pirating and seafaring needs. It's the Ooh, mag arr. of holding. There's only two days left to get this. Uh, so it's, a, it's an essential pirates and seafaring supplement. Chug rum, fight sea monsters, sink ships, plunder riches, sell the 77 seas. Uh, support Penny Dragon I mean, Games Quickstarter 
and you can get it in September. So check the link, please, in the description <laughs> or chat uh, before Tuesday. It's already funded, so you're going to get it if you back it now. Um, so get it on in there before it closes down. Yarr! Look at that guy. Look at that cool skeleton. That's some really cool art man. in this. Really yeah, cool. Yeah, really cool art. Uh, the that NPC. Oh, she model. looks awesome. There you go. Magic items as well. Brand new Mally. Amazing. Lots of Very cool things. Cool. If you're if you're doing a seafaring campaign, this seems like an easy easy win it's to an easy go and win. add to. Yeah. Uh, and two Please days. Support for indie developers as well. Uh, yeah. Penny. Games. Forty hours to get in okay. on that. So do it now. Like, don't waste time. Go and do it now. You can do it while we talk about some other things and then play the Dunduns in just a minute. Uh, but thanks very much, Pennywise, uh, Penny Dragon, Pennywise Games. Penny Dragon. <laughs> very different. We all came down here, <laughs> <laughs> um, just My brain today. Um, but yeah, go and check it out. Go check out Mag of Holding and their Kickstarter. And thank you, D&D Beyond. Uh, a couple of more quick things before we could crack on with the game. Uh, Thursday just gone, Thursday that's just passed, we had a blast playing Steamforge Games' brand new campaign setting for 5th edition D&D, Animal Adventures, The Faraway Sea. Yeah. Um, that should be going up on our YouTube channel uh, fairly soon. You can go and check out the VOD here on Twitch. It was a lot of fun. We actually played in person in the studio again, um, and it was a really good fun. I think we all had a really good time playing through it. It was a really fun little adventure. The party yeah. were playing as awakened animals, yeah. um, and they got very into it. Uh, very, very into it. <laughs> so fun. It was a lot Brother. of fun, actually. I think it, it was one of the most one. fun one shots we've done in a while. Brother! Um, uh, so go and check that out. That should be available on YouTube soon, but also it is available on the Twitch VOD. But also go and check out their Kickstarter. It's still running. Um, Animal Adventures, The Faraway Sea. The the description, the link and stuff will all be in the VODs. Um, you can click on it there, or it's on our Twitter as well. Go and check that out. Just want to give a big thank you to those guys, because Steamforged are awesome. Super good sponsor, and they were very, very kind to bring us in to do Animal Adventures as well. With gorgeous minis, we showed all the minis off that you get in the Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Absolutely yeah, amazing yeah, stuff. Yeah. Oh, look at the artwork. Uh, that's great. It's great. It's great. Yeah, it's great. Look at that otter. otter. Look at that little otter cleric. He's amazing. Yeah. Um, super cute. Great stuff. Get loads of cool minis, exclusive I minis as well. Um, and get a cool campaign setting that's a bit different. You know, it's a little bit different to your classic sort of D&D stuff, um, which is all fun. You can be an alpaca. You can be an albatross. You can be a goat. You can be a koala. You can be everything. Anyway. So just a you quick mention an about Aaron that. Guten? An orangutan, yeah. Uh, wow. I'll say Thomas. Also, this coming Thursday, so that was last Thursday. Boy, howdy, though. We've got more content on the way because next Thursday, this coming Thursday, 29th of July, we're very excited about this one. 8 p.m. on High Rollers d, &D and on twitch.tv forward slash Yogscast, we will be playing the brand new Avatar Legends RPG by Magpie Games. This is set in the universe of Avatar The Last Airbender, not the blue Avatar. This is Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra. Um, it's an awesome RPG. It uses the Powered by the Apocalypse system. So if you're used to D&D 5th edition, it's not that. It's going to be something new. It's very narrative focused. You get to learn a brand new system with us. It's going to be pretty much all of our first time. I've, I've read the rules and I know the rules, but I've never run or played Powered by the Apocalypse. Um, it's going to be the first time for everyone here playing that system, which is going to be very exciting and very fun. Um, and it's in a setting and in a world that we absolutely all love, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. So you should oh, come yeah. and check that out. That is 8 p.m. On next Thursday, Thursday the 29th of July, um, High Rolls D&D and Yogscast starting at 8 p.m. UK time. So come check that out. And big thank you, Magpie Games, for sorting us all out and, and bringing us all in for that one as well. Really Good stuff. Flamio. Uh, Flame Flamio, hot man. Flamio. <laughs> um, you caught me sipping my Starbuck, uh, Starbane well, mug. Oh, Ooh, well, Chris almost. Chuck, you know what? <laughs> I almost said it. <laughs> Oh. Let's throw it to Katie to tell us a little bit about some new merch coming and stuff that you can buy. Hello. Um, so I know I said this week, however, next week, next Sunday, we are going to be releasing the next of our limited edition pins, which is Mr. Trelamar Leith. Yeah. Uh, Yay. Yeah. yeah. Trelly Belly. Trelamar with his rope. He's got his rope. Um, so these are going to be super limited edition again. Um, they're going to be... <laughs> There's only going to be 100 of them. So um, get in there with that. And as the yeah. guy said, our um, Starbane coffee mugs, Ooh. beautiful, are still available on the store now. 
So on the store, grab yourself grab a few some. treats. Grab yourself a few treats. Grab the new troll pin. Grab a mug. Grab some other bits and bobs, like little shirts and hoodies and all that kind of good stuff while you can. Um, merch measure. is always a really good way to support us as well. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, for those not in the know, by the way, Trell is a character from our very first campaign, Lightfall, who's played by our friend Matthew Toffolo. Um, so if you if you if you never watched any of the Lightfall campaign, you should probably go and check that out because he's very funny. He's a very funny guy. Trellmar was a great character. Um, go and check. He's the out. funniest in the, um, in the team. Awesome. I, it was a real loss. You know, it was a real loss when he left, and mm -hmm. we had to. You know, we replaced him. Downgrade. You know, there was a few yeah. people we tried out. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I guess the replacement was okay. I guess he's all right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Tom, gone. you know you're my favorite boy. You know that I'm I your love favorite. You. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, oh, perfect stuff. Hello. Go and check that out. Thanks. And, and yeah, merch is a great way to support us as well. The very last thing, and this is just a quick little, it's almost like a little request, really. Um, the High Rollers D&D YouTube channel is less than 5K subs away from 100K on YouTube. And we know numbers don't really matter. We know it doesn't really matter, but a little silver plaque sure would be nice, though, wouldn't it? Oh, can you I imagine that? Mm -hmm. Imagine that behind me or behind Kim or behind Trot. It could be we can share it. We will pass it around yeah. each other. Um, and, you know, and if you've got some friends who love D&D and maybe they've not started watching High Rollers yet, you know, this is a great time to just be like, you should just come and subscribe and give it a little watch. Why not? You know, just don't, don't watch it. Don't send them this clip. Please subscribe. You can yeah. change Send the them voice. this clip of me begging. <laughs> Let's send them this clip oh of God. me saying, please subscribe. <laughs> please subscribe. <laughs> please just subscribe. We just need five, like less than 5K. We just, just, I want to get that 100K. Please, please. Yeah. It's nothing. Just click. You know, send it to your Please. grandma. Get, your grandma probably doesn't even watch YouTube, but I bet she's got an account somewhere. Just sign her up. Use her email. <laughs> sign up for an account right. and subscribe. Why not? Healthy. Mm -hmm. She won't Healthy. know. Wholesome content. She won't know. Yeah. We're family friendly. Against terms of service. No, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Um, that's it. That's it from us. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Uh, that's it. That's all the announcements. Um, make sure you check out all of our brand new content. Make sure you check out our uh, sponsors um, and all the new merch. And we will do some dun-duns and then recap the episode. And then it's straight into another exciting episode of High Rollers of Rois. Welcome back to Arois. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to <laughs> fuck's sake. I was trying to do you a clean one, Thomas. I was trying to do you a clean, clean one. one. He's only bust harming himself. Just bust out a clean one real quick. Welcome back to Arois. The party have arrived in the city of glass. Where they can rescue Herald and many guardians before <laughs> the allies of Kalos Valkyrian can take the city. With battles raging in the air and outside the city, our champions move through in search of Herald. En route, they encounter groups of feral guardians, individuals who have lived past their normal limits and become animalistic creatures. Sentry stops and uses the power of the Matrix to attempt to help several of them, taking in their near-dead spirits into the Genesis Relic and replacing them with brand new souls. Three such guardians are restored, Archer, Pumpkin, and barrier. With these three in tow, the heroes return to the Temple of Siaska, where they had once fought against Herald when she was nearly corrupted by Hadar. Hoping to find Herald there, but they instead find in their place, the party comes across a group of dominators, guardians who have fully embraced Hadar's corruption, and after a battle, rescue two guardian allies, Smasher and Sweep. Sweep reveals that they remained at the temple to pass on a message if Sentry arrived. Herald has traveled to a huge tower to recover an old Solven relic called the Conduit, 
which allows gu certain guardians to connect over great distances, once used to lure in guardians to the city for Herald to control and use. Under a fly spell, the party make haste for the tower, and as they arrive, they are confronted by another corrupted guardian, a dominator they had encountered long ago, who now calls themselves Overlord Veracitor. And that is where we are picking up today. My friends, uh, you are all currently flying um, at, I, you know, I've put you at a 60 foot above the ground kind of limit. Um, you have made your way through these, uh, and to, again, to describe the City of Glass, especially for our podcast listeners, it is a city, a great grand metropolis with tall rising buildings, multi-story buildings on either side, great towers, once a kind of pinnacle of magitech and, and enchantment, uh, completely transmuted to glass. Um, the glass is thick and cloudy in many places, so it's not completely see-through, um, almost appearing like ice in many places. You have flown through, and in between these kind of buildings, you see this grand, tall spire rising up. Um, but sweeping in from buildings to the side comes a great vehicle made of metal and uh, other sort of strange substances mashed and melded together, seemingly look like it, looking like it was created from multiple guardians' bodies um, with Ethereum engines attached to it, almost very similar to an airship, is a... What is best described as a fantasy fighter jet, a kind of uh, VTOL hovercraft-like device with magitech weapons and cannons, and inside it, a booming voice did call out uh, in a challenging manner. And if you are watching the stream and if you are on Roll20, uh, you may need to do some zooming out and scrolling around, uh, but <gasps> oh, I have a map for hey. you. Okay. Okay. Holy cow! Uh, hey, what's that? <laughs> that is a lot more futuristic VTOL jet than I expected. A, well, uh... listen, I, I can't <laughs> get an exact token for, for the Magitech kind of vibe of Erois, which is a lot more crystals and things like that. I basically had to use a sci-fi fighter jet yeah, <laughs> in <okay>. this place. <laughs> but it gives you the right idea, okay? It's big. Um, but it is, it is a similar session. It is a huge creature. It's not as big as the warship you faced earlier, but this one definitely looks a lot more high-tech. There is clearly um, Ethereum, uh, Ethereum technology in the works here, but also other strange magitech that you've not encountered before. You can see the red glow of Hadar energy kind of pulsing through it. Um, and mm. yeah, it appears almost like a great bird of prey with these uh, Ethereum engines kind of tucked away into it. Uh, and we're not going to waste any time because this particular enemy is not going to waste any time. We're going to oh. jump straight into it with everyone rolling initiative. Oh, nice. Boy. All right. Mm -hmm. Rock and roll. Hey, is it kind of like Bioshock Infinite, the big bird in that? I don't remember it. Then I will say yes. Sure. Well, it's a match That's of guardians, now. right? Yeah, well, yeah. It, it's kind of like because Guardians are made of metal as well, like it looks like the metal kind of parts of Guardians have been ripped apart and then melded together. So you occasionally see what is like the outline of a skull or like the outline of an arm, but it's all been sort of melded and, and meshed together. Yeah, stretched and, and melted, uh, you know, com melded, combined or down. Welded. Both. A little bit of both. Yep. Uh, all right. Lucius, initiative. Uh, that's a three. I rolled a one. Three, <laughs> lovely. Quill. Uh, that's a six. I rolled a two. Ayla. Four, sorry. Fifteen, which is low for Ayla, to be fair. Is low for Ayla. Sentry. One. <laughs> Nova. I rolled with advantage and got eleven. Eleven, oh God, guys. lovely. <laughs> How do we Lovely. not see this dude coming? Jubbly. Well, Ooh. you did see him coming. Right there. That, doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean it changes. Um, it's almost like, I, I guess it's up to you how your character, why is your character reacting so slowly? Is it because they're trying to formulate a plan? Are they in awe of this this strange Magitech device that has been that has come screeching in, uh, flying as quickly as you can uh, to the side? Um, 
but yeah, we are going to start with pretty much as always Ayla, followed by Nova, um, and then this thing. You can see that it is flying. It's probably you guys are all about sixty feet off the ground. This thing is maybe sort of eighty feet off the ground, so it's a little bit above you. Um, but it is pointing down at you, and you can see that it has all sorts of crystals and magical-looking devices and engines. It definitely looks like it has weapons and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah. And are we all flying right now? You are, and I believe uh, that the it is Nova and Lucius who are holding the concentration yeah. on those fly spells. So what's the ground? Like, how high off the ground are we? 60 feet. 60 feet. 60 feet. Yep. So I better not drop that then. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't advise it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the bars I've attached. Um, oh, no. Okay, I've got to actually do this. These are some fat bars. Uh so, so I've, what I've done is I've just put little notes on your tokens um, that oh. kind of indicate how high off the ground you are. Oh. Fancy. So I forgot that I need to enable the, the for you to see them. So just as a quick like little note uh, so you can see roughly how high you are. If you want to change your elevation, we can change that. And then we've got a quick reference for whereabouts you are positioned because it's hard to do three-dimensional combat necessarily so try and picture it in your mind as well don't just use the map try and describe what you want to do um you can see that around you there are many kind of broken buildings and statues um there is some open space and then behind the 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 veracitor jet uh you can see that there is this tall glass tower um completely you know cloudy and foggy like it was made of thick ice um you can't see inside it but it does seem to rise up uh, up into the air but you don't see any obvious entrances except the main entrance down below he's blocking yeah um and yeah so we go with ayla this is so annoying i got 15 and i was like oh good i kind of don't want to go first because it's not really my like combat situation sentries and then i was like oh i got 15 i won't be going first and then you all sucked at your rolls <laughs> whoa yeah and sentry is random literally the opposite <laughs> end of the initiative sentry is going last <sighs> <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> So because of that, I really don't know what I'm doing, uh, quite honestly. Um, you can always hold I an action or... will rage as a bonus action and I will... You have 60 feet of flight whilst the spell is active. I'm going to... I'm going to get on top of the ship, please. Okay. So, like, fly up and on top of it is... Yeah. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you can do that. Um, so, it's 80 feet. So, how much higher above do you want to go? No, I want to be, like, physically on it. Like, standing on it. Right, okay. I see. Ugh, damn, tokens overlapping each other. So, just turn one. I want to ride the thing. Yeah. Do I see a way to get into the ship from no, here? No, no, it's it's all sealed inside, you can see. Is right, there I'm any gonna... weapons up here? Uh, there's, you can see in terms of weapons, they all seem to be built into the machine. It's not like an airship where it has like these big kind of like chunky ballistas and things like that to strike. Um, these all seem to be hidden underneath its armor plating and things like that. Like this is one construct. Um, there's no external systems to necessarily attack, but you can attack this, this device, this machine. Um, okay, I guess I want to try and disable whatever weapons it has anyway, so I'm going to take a couple of hits at it. Sure. Uh, I need to move yourself to get 20, on top of it, I think, as well. 21. Uh, 21. I go underneath. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Uh, that will hit. Yeah, so the hammer does strike against the kind of thick armor plating that it has. Um, uh, 19 damage with the hammer. Okay. 19 um, points of damage. Um, yep. The second one is 28 to hit. 28 hits. And 17 points of damage with the hammer. 17 um, points of damage. And then I guess I do lightning damage to the thing. So, yep, yeah, so you let your lightning surge out. It's a deck save, right? Yes. That's an 18. That passes. 
14, so 7. Lightning so damage. 7, and then actually it also seems to be partially resistant to lightning. As the lightning energy surges into the kind of metal shell of this, this Aether jet, this kind of Magitek plane vehicle thing, um, you see that its weapons begin to hum and more and grow, begin to crackle with lightning energy as well. You can see that whatever the lightning energy that Ayla blasts into it, it seems to absorb it and almost seems to channel it into its weapons. Cool. Hmm. Anything else? Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, in that case, uh, at the end of your turn, Ayla, it's going to use a legendary action. Oh, butts. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to use its legendary action to perform a surging storm, a storm assault. Uh, so, uh, I would like... Who can... Can I do this? Yeah, I can do this. Storming. Surging storming. Luckily, uh, you see it kind of surges forward. This does not provoke any attacks of opportunity. Um, but it seems to stop her. It doesn't go very far. It seems to, like, surge with its engines. Um, but it kind of just does, like, a little short shunt forwards um, and doesn't do anything. However, Ayla, you were on top of it, right? Yep. So, you've got a choice. You can either spend your reaction to basically, because uh, as it comes surging forward, you get blasted by sort of like the, the engine wash and the you know energy all around it. Uh, you can either use your movement to get out of its path, um, or you can make a dexterity saving throw as it tries to kind of blast you with energy. For, uh, is that my movement for my next turn or my reaction? Uh, this would be your or... reaction. It doesn't spend any of your movement for next sure. turn. It'd just be your reaction to then just basically fly sort of like 10 feet or something up in the air. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. All right. Sure. So you're just a little bit out of melee range now, but just so you know. Uh, okay. Ayla. I'm, I'm done. Uh, sorry. Nova. Nova. <laughs> my brain today. Um... I would like to gun and run. Um, I'm going to get away from the pack because I don't like us being all squidged up. Uh, okay. Five. Are these like five foot squares? They are five foot or... squares, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can use the ruler if you need so... to. You can see that there is um, a few broken buildings and things like that around you. Yeah, five, ten, You're 15, currently hovering 20, sort of... 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Um, I'm going to hover um, counterclockwise and um, over a broken building. Um, yep. And because I need to concentrate on everyone flapping and not drop them, uh, it's going to be a nice and simple Eldritch Blast. Sure. Uh, first one is a 19 to hit. Uh, 19 will just barely hit, yeah. Oh, um, and that is seven points of damage. So as the force damage impacts against the hull of this thing, again, you see the energy of the Eldritch Blast seems resisted, um, and you do see it sort of like the engines glow slightly brighter. Its weapons glow the same colored energy. Oh, no. Oh. Um, can I choose not to shoot? Yeah, you can choose not to do the others. You definitely see it's um, like the, it has had some impact. Like it's not that the whole damage has been absorbed. Um, it just is yeah. resistant to it, and then yeah, it seems to almost be fueling itself. Whatever damage it resists, it seems to almost be fueling itself on. So it's still taking the, damage. But. So on the map, there's a statue nearby. Is that like above? I'm kind of thinking, can I shoot the statue to fall on the? Um, no, the statues by the staircase, no, they're on the ground. Mm. Pretty much everything okay. you can see is on the ground. Nothing's really above the this where this thing's flying. This, yeah. Okay. It's all open space except regret. for the buildings. I'm probably going to regret saying this, but I'm going to keep blasting. Oh, well. Okay. Um, sure. <laughs> I hurt everyone with maddening darkness. What's the little Eldritch Blast powering up some energy weapons that's going to blow everyone into next week? Um, 24 to hit on my next one. It's 12 points of force damage. Okay. See it just kind of rock ever so slightly. Uh, 17 to hit on the last one, so I don't think that's going to hit. 17 does not hit, no. The second one does. No. I mean, you see the same thing. It does take some damage, but it does also resist a ton of it as well. That me. Okay. That you. Let's see. Uh, at the end of your turn... 
Nova Vija. The Aether Jet is going to... Uh, no, let's do that later. It's going to reposition. It's going to use a legendary action to uh, do a reposition. Um, and it just ever so slightly begins to pivot. Uh, so it's directly facing towards Quill, Sentry, and Lucius. Uh, oh, kind I of don't like that. Pivots in the air. Um, and then on its turn, as it's now its go, you see its main gun, this kind of like uh, central kind of nose, crystalline, you know, thing at the front of the, the jet itself, uh, channels up, powers up with a large kind of crackling and lightning and force energy, uh, and a beam 10 foot wide and 60 foot long projects from the front of it, which will catch Sentry, Quill, and Lucius. Yes, Lucius. Could I try? Is this like casting a spell? This is not casting a spell. So I, I wouldn't be able to chromatically change it into a, say, acid and try and absorb it into my gauntlet as a reaction. I don't think so, because this is this isn't casting a spell. This isn't this okay. is it is elemental damage, but it's not magical. It's not a spell being conjured. OK. No does it say da it? does it say it has to be a spell on the gauntlet that you the, on the that you have to do it to a spell? Oh, that's a spell, I yes. Yeah, okay. So, no, unfortunately, this is not going to be a spell. But if there's anything else, like any re other reactions you want to do? Crime? Would a protection work? Okay. Uh, this is a deck save, so no, but your aura will. Okay, okay right, cool. So, so, deck save throw, yeah. Deck save from the three of you, please. Yeah. Plus threes all round from sentry. Oh, not bad. Okay. I've got a 19. Yeah. I might switch to physical dice. Uh, please do. Uh, just for uh, last week, was, did Lucius cast fly as well? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Cool. I think he cast it on himself and me. Yeah. That's just right, for... and, and Nova got the rest. Yeah. Yeah. Quill's flying himself. Because I've got... Oh, a bit um, slower. Well, with my... Fear of oracles. I've currently got Elder Quill summoned. Uh, I I can, as a reaction, send it forward to make another person automatically uh, succeed on their saving throw if they fail it. Pretty cool, huh? It. Had this for a while. Um, so I'm going to do that to Lucius. I'm going to send Elder Quill forward to push him out of the way of this. That's uh, so this fancy. Beam. Yeah. So it does mean that he can like Elder Quill now cannot be summoned for. Uh, until he completes a long rest, so he doesn't get double wow. concentration anymore. That's cool. Uh, so what do we get? Sentry. So we, Lucius succeeds. Doesn't matter what Lucius rolled. Elder Quill basically shoves him out of the way. He's still going to take half damage, but succeeds on the saving throw. Um, uh, I was hoping Sentry. That's fine. Yeah, I got an eight total. Eight total. Quill. Six. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen total with Sentry's bonus. Yeah. With Sentry's bonus. Yeah. Quill, you just managed to kind of arc and uh, kind of fold your wings oh. up and dive down, but it's still going to take half damage again um, as you do this. Uh, so this is going to be... Uh, or re. <laughs> two, three, four, five. Yeah, re, you're taking full damage on this. Um, it's 5d6 like lightning and 5d6 uh, force damage. Holy okay. crap! 13 lightning damage, and then... It's not bad for those... Nice. 18 force damage. So that's mm. going to be a total. If you don't have resistance to any of those, that's going to be 31. Um, so 15. 15 to Lucius and Quill. Jeez. Okay. So um, this kind of arcing, crackling beam of mixture of lightning and pure magical energy kind of... Pfft, I actually forgot. Uh, it's an extra D6 of both because of the damage it absorbed. So I'm just going to oh. do another 2D6. Oh, goody gumdrops. Took damage. It's You're only welcome. So, so it's another two, two three, to four. Quill and Lucius and four to Sentry. So it kind of cuts this beam, okay. carving a part of the glass building aside that you've been kind of flying beside. It cuts through it, and you guys, you know, Lucius, you're thrown out of the way by this spectral older Quill. Um, Quill, you managed to duck and flee, but Sentry, you're kind of caught in the middle of it as it blasts over you. Um, yeah, you take the damage. Yep. That's 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 that on that turn. Um, Damn. Okay. And then it gets going to try and use its storm assault once more. Oh um, yeah, and your concentration. Or fly. 
That's the main reason I didn't want oh, you the, plummeting the, 60 the, feet down. Does the immediate save not oh. counter there? No, you okay. have to do a concentration check separate. As con you save, know. Yeah. It's regular yep, con save. DC will only be 10, though. 24. Okay, so you maintain fly. Um, and then actually, it's not going to do a storm assault. It's going to do scatter fire. So it's going to target each creature in a 60 foot cone, uh, which is just going to be Sentry, Quill, and Lucius again. Um, it seems that oh it, can't, it can't pivot <laughs> to turn and face the others. Um, so it's just going to rain and attack. This is uh, three attack rolls uh, against each target. So, would a protection uh, work here? It would work this yes, time. Yes, it would. Yes. Then I shall protect Quill, please. Oh. Okay. Uh, so against Lucius, that's going to be a 17 to hit. Yep. Quill with disadvantage. Oh, that's probably going to miss, actually. Uh, 14. Yeah, uh, it just hits. Oh, got to get that AC back up somehow. Um, and then Sentry, that's a 22 to hit. That hits. Oh, my God. So I'll just do one damage roll for all four of you. Woo. That is going to be another 12 points of force damage as these you just see like a, a scattering of all these different like little pieces of magic like bullets and blasts it's like <laughs> fire out of uh, the various crystal tips and, and wings and things like that as it just shoots forward um, oh, it's and just then the crystal tips yeah for its move action uh, it is going to basically moves in a straight line and then it will make one 90 degree pivot Wait, where's it gone? I just, <laughs> I just vanished. <laughs> it soars over the head of you, so it kind of buzzes over the top of you guys, and then it begins to turn around, kind of uh, spins aside. However, you can see it's not completely turned all the way around yet. It can only do a 90, 90 degree pivot. Ah. Uh, Keila Ked Um, I would like to, as a bonus action, cast Shield of Faith on... Uh, Lucius. Okay. Plus two AC, uh, Lucius. Need yeah. to keep that. Need to keep that fly going. And if anyone's going to get destroyed, it's Lucius. Um, well, that's a good point. <laughs> Can I have another con save from Lucius, actually, for the damage you just took? Oh, the DC damage, ten. Man. Yeah, twenty-one. 21. Nice. You're right. Well, you've got an extra plus two AC, and I yeah. want to fly, kind of in between where Sentry and Ayla are now, and I also want to go directly upwards by, like, 30 feet. Um, so you want to be at 90 feet elevation. 90 feet up, and just kind of away from the group, but vertically. Um, and as a, a cantrip, I'll try a Sacred Flame on this thing. So far, it's uh, absorbing lightning, and it's absorbing whatever Eldritch Blast is. Force, force damage. Uh, force. force damage. So I'll try Radiant. Yeah. Adar hates Radiant. It needs to make a deck save. Cool. All right, deck save. Yeah. Uh, this thing is quite nimble despite its size, but it's not it's amazing. It's probably still going to succeed. It's a 22 because it was... Yeah, oh, it's 21. <laughs> okay. It just like banks its its kind of metal wings and the, the flame kind of passes over. Um, yeah, that's fine. Does. That's fine. That's my full turn. Cool. All right. Cool. Um, at the end of your turn, considering it's had its turn, it gets its legendary actions back. Sure. It is going to fire a life-seeking missile. Hang on. I oh, have a missile my ready. God. Uh, what? <laughs> it's okay. It won't go after Nova. After the war crimes, she's dead inside. <laughs> Let me get my missile. He's wow. Oh, he's got, he's wow. Got a missile. Out of all oh, of you guys, me life. Out of all of you guys, who has the most hit points? Uh, 134. 25. 174. 25. Can anybody beat 175? No. Going once. Oh, 62. Right, okay, Ayla, a small Fuck kind sake. of red aura begins to glow around you, and you see this kind of red projectile, like a red shard of crystal, kind of drops and pff, begins flying out, and it, be it is homing directly towards you. It moves 20 feet when it's launched. Um, oh, no, 30 feet, sorry. So, where's my little ruler? It starts in its location. So it basically gets next to Quill. <laughs> Uh, and Quill, you watch as this thing just flies by, heading for uh, Ayla. Damn, well, under me, yeah. 
Yeah, it's so um, unusual. Uh, that's the end of Quill's turn. Holy shit. How long is this going to be chasing Ayla for? <laughs> I don't know. Ayla just sees flying in the air. You see this red crystal shard like flying directly for you. Lucius. I kind of want to do something uh, unorthodox and relatively reckless. Okay. As my bonus action, (laughs) I would like to hold aloft my captain's sword. Okay. And use its ability to shout really loud to the surrounding area. Sentinel Prime is here in the City of Glass to offer all Guardians salvation. Any able fighters, seek out the tower. Do not give in to the influence of Hadar. Uh, The voice echoes, bouncing off the the glass towers and glass buildings, um, shaking several of the nearby structures. You can see maybe some cracks things like that from the, the wine glass high shatters volume. but yeah and I, uh, I do a Mariah Carey <laughs> <laughs> okay seven octaves high um, so that was my bonus action you mate. waste your time pathetic flesh thing it will not matter if reinforcements arrive if I have claimed the matrix mm, interesting uh, I'm going to chromatic orb while he's saying that at sure. seventh level. Jesus. Okay. Of what kind of damage? Acid. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. That's a twenty-two to hit. Uh I am gonna use a reaction. Uh I've only got three of these. I'm going to use magical chaff. So as you fire the spell, the jet begins sending out all these different kind of like puffs of metallic strips and things like that. Uh, can you make it, make the attack as if you had disadvantage? So roll again and take the lowest. Basically. Wow. Fearing this projectile. Oh. Can I uh, use my font of magic to do a seeking spell, please, and roll that again? You can, and I I might be getting this wrong. I believe that there's a rule. Basically, if you re-roll a roll that has disadvantage, basically you just roll now, and that's the roll. Like, it yes. doesn't matter. The, the two previous says, rolls are ignored, and it's just you get whatever this is. If I make an attack roll for a spell and miss, I can spend yeah. two sorcery points to re-roll, yeah. and I must use it again. There you go. So, yep. so may as well whatever try. this roll is. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, here we go. Uh, ding dong. It's a natural 20. Here we go. I'd love that. 24! You've, done, you've done Firebolt there, but we'll take the attack roll. Uh, yeah, Thank you. <laughs> so, all the, the, the chaff tries to like disperse the orb, right? It tries to kind of like disrupt the magic of the orb, but through your own chromatic control and mastery of this, this spell, the color of it uh, becoming clear in your mind, you send it and it, it streaks to its target, striking true. Give me that damage. Man, a I love eight. Holy shit! I love spell spell combat where it's like I cast a spell. I magical chaff. Well, I counter spell. I well, this. I counter spell. <laughs> Just back to forty back. points of acid damage. Well, I was going to say you checked for your thing as well. Forty points of damage. The orb smacks into the side of the aether jet. This great globule of orange energy spreading over, beginning to sizzle away parts of it, and you can see that it shudders and, and shakes as if uh, the pilot is losing some of the control. Um, and then a wisp ah! of extra orange that I peel off of one of my gems Yeah, for 12 points. Another uh, 12 points of, of dichromancy because it's 7th uh, level. Are you, you are in range, indeed. <laughs> the secondary strike, bam, strikes against the jet as well, causing even more damage. I'm going to move away from sentry because uh, we are in a straight line right now. I'm going to move. Oh, I'm vertical. Five, ten. Uh, yeah, you know he can just go lower and shoot it like in a diagonal. I'm trying to yeah. like spread. So, there you go. About there. I cool. moved okay. away from sentry, spreading out. All right. Uh, I'm going to use the last legendary action I can for this turn to reposition, which is I get to make a for this turn. Location. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, this turn being until he gets to go again. Uh, I'm just going to... He continues his kind of pivoting turn, basically. Um, yeah. To turn as much as he wants to. Sentry. 
can I uh, go five, ten feet towards the missile? Can I take the missile, <laughs> go <Okay>. back, <laughs> and then go back five, ten, and then bonus action misty step onto onto <laughs> Noble Lord Rastal and shove the missile into the Oh my thing. god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Good luck saying no to this, Mark. Yeah, oh, please say yes, say Mark. No. I'm not gonna say, I'm never gonna say no. Uh, <laughs> unless there's like hard mechanics where like, is this a spell? Well, no, it's not. That's a no. This is a case of you absolutely can do that. You're gonna need to do, to, to, to grab the missile, mm-hmm. you have to basically make a melee attack to grapple it. You're, you, this is an yep. object, You are. it has a speed, it has an AC, you have to grab this thing and it's moving quick century it's like mm-hmm. you know it's this tiny shape it's kind of moving really fast you're gonna have to grab it basically so it's a, okay. it's a melee attack using your normal like whatever you, her majesty's rose attack bonus i actually know it would be your unarmed strike it'd be an unarmed strike unarmed attack strike. bonus all right i'm gonna Zero use chill my I'm just gonna Drain jam the a missile in it <laughs> Give okay a so an extra d4 because lord knows i need it today <laughs> sure uh <gasps> it's a diamond! No. Yeah. You grab this red crystal that's pulling away and you feel it trying to drag you away as it has some sort of magical, you know, force or propulsion heading towards century. You wrap your arms around it and you yank it. You've grappled it now. So now you want to, you can move half speed and then misty step is what you wanted to yep. do, right? So- <laughs> misty step 30 feet. Yeah, so I'm just going to make sure you're on the front. So you're on top of this oh thing. Oh my god, what is happening right now? And then, and then what do you do? Yes, so, you've grappled okay, so you the missile. You have one attack to grab mm-hmm. the missile. You move, Misty Step as a bonus action. You have one attack left. Is that to slam the missile like, as a weapon? Slam it into, yeah, like into oh the cockpit. God, just yeah. dunk this dude. <laughs> Oh okay, God. so you do this, it is going to affect you because as the missile slams into it, it explodes in an, a radius. It's a 10 foot radius when this thing goes off. So it catches you in its sentry. Sure. Um, but you yeah. slam the red crystal on top of the uh, on top of the jet and yeah, uh, it explodes. Uh, this is going to take, you and the jet are both going to take damage from this. Um, Shit. My plan was to make it hit the jet as well, just as <laughs> well, I was going to just go, ha ha, fuck you. You can throw a baseball at it. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Oh my dice took a long time to roll there. So this is 27 necrotic damage century. Um, mm-hmm. It's going to take that damage as well. Um, and neither you nor the Aether Jet can regain hit points until the start of your turns. Oh, uh, as this, necro- oh, this red crystal oh. explodes in Hadar necrotic energy. And you kind mm-hmm. of feel it, but you also hear a like, What are you doing? No! Is it that voice? <laughs> <laughs> is it that voice? Because that's great. I don't know why it did the hard. I don't know why it <laughs> activated hard tune there. Like this. Ah! <laughs> is what it oh my god, like. that was perfect. <laughs> Trot's gone. That's it. He's he's done. I did, I I pushed the button that I have the the profile saved on, and it added hard tune. I didn't see it. <laughs> no. Maybe maybe unleash some helium in the cockpit where Veracitor is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just oh some vocal cords or something. Yeah. yeah, it's distorted through the, the necrotic magic. That's yeah. what it was. Cool. Yep, 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 well, yep, 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 Cool, 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 Oh, hello. So I've just seen Sentry take this missile just away. Just this missile, teleport back I'm and like slam it lining, into the jet. Lining up the hammer. <laughs> no. Um, okay, in that case, I am going to head back over to uh, the the ship, I think, okay. which I can, yeah, I can get on the snoot. Sure. I'm just making sure I can get there. Next to Sentry when you do that. Um, yeah, can I get on the snoot of the the rocket and mm-hmm. uh, give it a couple of whacks? But sure seeing can. that it used my lightning, I'm not going to do that. Sure, yeah, you can choose not to. Um, uh, 25 to hit. Hits. Uh, no, no, no. 14 damage for that one. 14 points. And then a... Crack and scrape oh, of metal. 29 to hit. Hits. 
15 points of damage. 15 points. Whack, whack. Uh, both heavy impacts, you know, you dent and scrape the metal. Uh, still flying, you can see the engines are beginning to kind of plume with, with smoke and energy. You can see that the the ship has been, uh, you know, dented and destroyed. Is, am I is, close get rid to of like... that pole. <laughs> Break. <laughs> Don't worry. Is that close to like breaking into the like? Is there a, enough dents to break through to the cockpit or anything? Yeah, there's no. You don't see a cockpit. There's. It's like right. there's no glass. It's just metal. Like it, it's just like a big metal bug. Like there's cool. no hinges. You don't. You don't even really see how whoever is inside is controlling this thing. It's just okay. like a big metal bird shaped thing. Um, to you guys. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. It is the plane. Mm. Maybe. Uh, that's Ayla's turn. It doesn't have any legendary actions left, so we go to Nova. Uh, I am also going to fly over onto the snoot. Um, I can just about get to the snoot with my sure. uh, with my oh, movement, yeah, 60 feet. Yep. Um, so, okay. Um, and I'm going to attack with Tiangong. And um, just see what a little green flame blade does. I said it correctly there. Um, sure. So um, I rolled a 13 plus 12 is 25 to hit. Hits, yep. Five, uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 12 points of Tiangong damage. Mm -hmm. Slashing and damage. Half yeah, and the then 11, 11 points of um, fire damage. 11 points of fire damage. The fire damage does affect it. It does seem to be resistant, but it doesn't seem to power up the engines oh. in the same way. So the fire damage is less effective, but it seems to be ma mainly be because of the way it's constructed and it doesn't absorb that magical energy as it did with the lightning and the force damage. Um, this just seems to kind of scorch it, but leaves uh, as not as much of a, a trail as you do so. Um, cool. Anything else, Nova? That's all I got. Okay. The Aether Jet's turn. The Aether Jet is going to, with three of you basically on top of it, it is going to uh, use its Storm Assault to move up, catching all three of you as it's going to try and slam its great body um, from underneath you, basically. Uh, this is a But we're on, on it physically. Yeah. Yeah. It's going like to, like... And it, you're hovering, you're, you're standing on it, but it's going to throw upwards with force and it's covered in like, you know, en magical energy. It's cracked, like its oh, engines okay. are blasting and things like that. Um, even if you stood on it, it's not necessarily trying to like smash into you. The force of this thing propelling you upwards and, and coating you with energy is still going to be, you know, thing. You'd have to make a decision on whether you want to go up with it as well, because it might potentially take you up quite high. Um, uh, it's going to go up 60 feet, uh, so it's kind of oh, cool. like washing you with engine fire and, and lightning energy and magical power as it kind of soars up into the air. Um, you guys can choose to. You can either use your reactions to get out of its way, or you can make a dexterity save to try and just uh, half the damage as you're about to take. I'll get out of its way. Okay, so you kind of like shuffle off to the sides if you want to. Yeah, I'll do the same. All right. Kinda of was thinking of staying on. Okay, we'll stay on then. Mm -hmm. Fuck it, I'm gonna stay on. Uh, deck saving right. throw. Deck saving throw, please. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen, not enough, unfortunately. So as you are lifted up into the air, Nova, uh, you are kind of blasted by lightning and force damage. Uh, this is going to be 24 points of lightning damage, and then it flew up 60 feet. Is she still in my range when she takes the lightning damage? No, because you would have moved. What's the range on it? Is it 10 feet around? 10 you? feet. Not are you, because you moved, use your reaction okay. to move away. Yeah, unfortunately not. Um, and then 27 force damage Nova as this thing throws you up into the air almost like the force of it kind of propels you up and like the the engine wash and the the power of this thing kind of just blasts you as it flies upwards surrounding itself with energy 
as you go up uh, 60. So this thing is now, it was at 80, um, it goes to 140, and you know they get to have some free movement and go with it. I'm going to do a con check first, a uh, concentration check. Okay. Yep. The total damage, uh, the DC for this is going to be 40, 51, so 25 DC. And I can't add anything to this, can I? It's constitution saving throw, so it's just your constitution saving throw. Plus three. Oh, I rolled a 19, 20, 21, 22. 22, unfortunately not. So concentration, so who are you flying? Yourself and... Uh, it was... Sentry, right? I can't right? remember. Sentry. It must have been Sentry, I think, yeah. But did Sentry definitely did go it. a separate so, direction to me? Oh, well, that's up when to you moved. guys. Yeah, that's up I'm to you I'm just guys. wondering if I, I can you based on. potentially catch Sentry. Well, but also Sentry, Sentry I think Force you did weapons. have it on Quill, but Quill can fly naturally, so you were just giving him a speed boost, I think. So There's also, yeah, no Feather Falls. Yeah. Yeah. We got rid of them yep. for the dive. You did. No Feather Fall tokens. Hmm. Uh, so, Nova, you, you are currently... Parachute? like The spell uh, goes, but you are on top of this thing, but you are now, you know, clutch pressed almost against it by force as it's lifted you up. Um, you feel the, the, the magic fade. Uh, Sentry, yeah, you guys could have moved off in the same direction if you wanted to. Uh, I just moved yeah. you in opposite directions because it was made more sense. So, um, If Sentry's going to drop, I could I try and oh, catch you her? Yeah, you, sure. I mean, we'll say that if Sentry moved over in your direction, I'll let you guys take that back. I should have really let you guys move where you wanted to rather That's than okay. moving you. That's on the No, list. I was just wondering. So, I... Yeah, so it'd be a strength check, I think, uh, to try and... Um, probably a dex, actually, to try and grab her. So just straight dex. Twenty-one. Yeah, I'd say that you can grab Sentry and with your strength. You're holding her up, but you know it's yeah. going to be hard to move. You're basically at yeah. half speed while you're holding Sentry. Um, but Sentry, yeah, you, Ayla manages to grab you before you completely fall as the the fly magic spell begins to go. Nice, thank you. Okay, uh, that was just its storm assault move. Um, it is Solve then going to <laughs> uh, <laughs> Quill. Uh, roll a d6 Hi. for me, and then I'm going to shoot you with some magic guns. Okay. Uh, a, roll, a six? Huh? A six. Excellent. The Magitech cannon recharges. Uh, now I'm going to shoot you. You're welcome, <laughs> As the, the thing kind of angles itself down, and is just going to spray a cone of fire. Nova, you're like slipping and sliding along this thing's like top edge uh, as it's going to shoot Quill. That's only a 13. Hey, perfect. Miss. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. With your wings, your natural yeah. flying, you manage to dip and weave in amongst all of these, uh, all of this fire, uh, and it's nice. your turn. Uh, cool. All right. Uh, so I've probably asked this before. Um, so I have the uh, spellbreaker thing. When I restore HP, I can end a spell effect on a person <clears> as well. Sentry, who now has the no healing, is that a spell <clears> effect <throat> that I can remove and also still heal her? It's not... The thing is, is this is where it gets complicated, right? Because, like, a spell effect would be something like hold person. Um, and then this is an effect from... I would say yes. I would say f basically because this is replicating the effect of a of a chill touch spell, I would say yes, it can remove this. But it's not technically a spell. But I'd say it can remove the effect. Okay. Um, you wouldn't well, be able works. to, like, counter spell it, but I'd say, I'd say this kind of works. Okay. Well, if I move... 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, Well, but 15. then if I do that, I feel that that's cheating Lucius out of earlier when I said that he couldn't use his Aether Gauntlet because it's not a spell. Rules uh, well, as written, can... this isn't a spell effect, so... Yeah, I mean, it literally says uh, I can remove... What does it say? I can end one spell of your choice on that creature. Okay, then no, you can't. It's not a spell. Otherwise, okay. I'm, I'm being unfair to Lucius, so... That's fine. Um, in that case, I, uh, it hasn't been Sentry's turn yet, so I can't heal... Sentry just no. yet, but I can at least can heal catch... Lucius, who also looks very injured. Yes, uh, I mean I'm I'm currently like ninety feet up. So in terms of radius, I'm guessing Ayla's not in my range here. If I have thirty feet of range, don't worry about me. Uh, 
I'm guessing, like, in, so in terms of vertical healing, it's a little bit awkward. Um, um, she's okay. 80 feet up, Ayla, so she's only 10 feet below you. She's only missing three hit points. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry. I've got 60 feet range. I can catch everyone. I'm going to do a mass kill wound. Um, so 3d8 plus 6 on everyone but Sentry. And Nova. Nova's 140 and Nova, feet yeah. up in the air. I'm very uh, Good point. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's... Yeah. Wait, hang on. What's the range? 60 feet. 60 feet and I'm 90 up. Oh, yeah, then you can up. catch Nova. You can catch Nova because it, yeah, that's it's within 50. Yeah. Perfect. Well, in that case, 22 healing to all but Sentry. Nice. Nice. Um, and I don't have any amazing bonus features. Bonus action, sorry. Um, so that's me. That's me. This is me. Okay. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Can you hear that jet sound effect then? It's pretty impressive. Yeah. At the end of your turn, Quill. Mark's getting really good at it. I'm going to be a the right. voice. <laughs> I'm going to be a butthole here. Uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> at the end of your turn, Quill, the jet is going to use reposition to move 30 feet. 5, 10, 15. 20, Into me. 30. Oh, God. Right through me. <laughs> Can you make a. I guess this would be... Well, you don't really have your reaction left. Make a Did dex saving throw to see if you can grab onto this thing before it basically oh, tries yeah. to turn and shoot ahead. Did you use your reaction? 15. Yeah. Oh, no, she didn't. That's well, yeah, right. Didn't. It... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because that's why yeah. you stayed on top of it. Yeah. So just make a dex yeah, save. Yeah. So... Okay, uh, 15. 15, yeah. I'd say you can stay on with that. Uh, so this thing tries to shake you off like it spins and th and you're like gripping on like holding onto like some old guardian's metal arm that's been sort of like welded into the carapace of this thing and you're like holding on to it as you arm. do. Uh, yeah, and then Lucius. Uh, it didn't seem to be resisting the acid last time right no no the acid worked perfectly so i'm i think i might just continue that a slightly lower level because of the slots so another sure. chromatic orb at fifth level this time okay i believe i'm in range so oh that's only an 18 to hit though 18 just barely hits like on the cusp of hitting and it's a single so target, i'm actually so gonna I'm going to use the magical chaff again. Sorry. Uh, so it's a disadvantage. All right. Let's see what happens first. Yeah, because you still might hit, right? Yeah. There you go. So you still you hit. Still hit. So it tries to deflect the orb, but <laughs> strikes true. Push on through. Oh, Whoa. 37. Nice. 37. Okay. I was going to say check for the ones. So again, like almost striking the back end of it now where you can see these Ethereum engines have been crudely attached. The orb smashes against them. One of them begins to cough and sputter and spark and flash with magic um, as this thing does. Yeah, it looks like it's in, in trouble. And 10 Dichromancy as well. 10 more Dichromancy. Sure thing. So we... Um, yeah. Uh, is that is that the end of your turn? <laughs> um, I'm going to how uh, we're on a building. We're over, hovering over a building right now, yeah, right? Yeah, you guys are hovering over a building, and that's yeah. higher than sixty. Well, sixty feet off the floor. So I assume how how much would I have but to I'd go say you're down? You're sixty feet over the building. Over the building, right? Yeah. Um, I might touch down. Yeah. Yeah. Just go land on the. I'm top just going to land on that building. Sure. That makes sense. All right, yeah. so you just straight down. Cool. I will adjust my height accordingly. All right. At the end of your turn, I'm going to have this, the Aether Jet perform another storm, a surging storm, a storm assault. Uh, it enshrouds itself with lightning and force energy, and then it's going to try and blast forward in the direction it is facing. 1d6. Nova, you're going to be on top of this. You still have your reaction. Uh, this thing's about to blast forward. Do you want to try and use your reaction to jump off the side of it, or are you holding on for dear life? Mm, I kind of want to keep holding on. It's probably a really right. stupid idea, but... Do you want to make a deck save? <laughs> yeah. Sure. I made uh, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
20. Okay, so you're going to take half damage this time as, again, this thing surges forward and it's heading towards the tower now. Um, you can see it almost, like, trying to, like, charge towards the tower. Again, it kind of becomes covered in lightning and force energy that washes over you. You manage to kind of tuck and roll and sort of hide behind a, a section, like a little flap of metal, but it still catches you on the blast. Um, one, two, three, four, five. This is lightning damage. It's going to be 23 points of lightning damage. Oh, is that halved? Or and then so half that would be... Oof, um, Jesus Christ. So that'd be 11 lightning damage, and then it would normally be 46 force, but that's half to 23. Oh, you just got 46 I rolled, on look, 5d10. I, I rolled three tens, a nine, and a seven. Christ. Jesus. We can see it in the chat there. That's nuts. Um, Tasty. But yeah, so 23 instead. Uh, you managed to half that mm -hmm. by like bracing yourself up against this section of the, the, cre uh, the jet. Uh, it is then going to go 5, 10... 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. It collides with the tower. Um, Great! <laughs> yeah. Gee, so gee, when it collides wow. with the tower, uh, oh. collision has occurred. It takes 1d10 per 10 feet of movement. So it's going to take 5d10 damage. The tower is also going to take 5d10 damage. Um, so it oh. rams into the tower. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, we're watch protecting me, the tower. I guess that makes watch sense. Watch me roll actually. like a bunch of ones this time. Yep, there we go. Uh, so eight. So I, on the same Jesus roll, five d ten. I got forty six and eighteen. Um, oh my god, the swing! It the swing. into the side of the tower. Uh, a great, a big, a kind of crack begins to form, but not suit. You know, it seems to be mostly uh, cosmetic to the tower. This tower is a big, thick-looking tower. Um, but the, the jet definitely it's scrapes perfect. along it. Parts of it break away and stuff like that. Um, and then, am I still on it? You're still on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just yeah, kind of surges so... forward. But you you tucked away. I'm not going to have you take the, the, the 5 okay. to 10 damage for that. Uh, so... And then Sentry. That was at the end of Lucius's turn. My okay. god. <laughs> uh, I'm going to heal. I'm going to do It's your 25... turn, so you may heal now. Yep. 25 lay on hands points for moi, please. <laughs> sure. And that's all I have left. Ayla's like <laughs> holding you up like... <laughs> um, I think Sentry's just going to look at the jet slamming at the tower and just scream, the tower! Quick! <laughs> Tell me where you want to go! <laughs> I'll take you! <laughs> Put me on the ground! Put me on the ground! Okay. End of your turn, Sentry? Yeah, that's the end of my turn. All right. Jet's going to use its last uh, reposition to basically pull itself back 30 feet. Nova, you go with it. <laughs> Ayla. Cool. I'm a push sentry on the ground. <laughs> okay, so you just fly straight down. You're 90 feet yeah. up, so it's going to take you a bit of time. You could um, put uh, sentry on top of this building, in fact, actually. If you flew over here, you could put sentry on the top of the building, which is a bit higher up than the ground. Sure, I'll do that. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So you pop sentry down. Um, that would be uh, you were ninety feet. So that's thirty feet of your movement so far, Ayla. So you got thirty <laughs> feet left. It's, it's in whacking range. It's it in whacking range. It wouldn't have been if I hadn't moved it back. I would like to hit it, please. Yeah, you go and whack, and then Nova, your turn after this. You also, as you fly over to Ayla, you see a very, probably singed looking Nova, like, holding on. <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. Mark. Mark, I rolled in that <gasps> 20. Did you? Oh. Nice. I crit. rolled in that 20. Oh, you know uh, the crit rules. So, brutal, brutal critical. critical. So, yep. 30 damage straight up. Yep. Plus... For anybody who's new to the stream, we use custom crit rules. If you're new to the stream, it's max the damage die, then roll the damage die again. If we roll a 20, the enemy dies instantly? It's not how it works. You're right. No? Oh. <laughs> would you like that? Sorry, Tom, would you like that to be the rule against you guys? If I roll on that 20. Wait. I would have been dead a long time ago. <laughs> you all would have been dead a long time ago. Yeah. The amount of 20s I roll. 50 points of damage. 50 For points! Oh yeah. my Holy god. Crap. That um, one whack. slams into the back of the jet. Nova, you feel the whole thing shake um, as probably you tear an engine out, Ayla. Like you are oh, cool. it, 
and a whole engine just like rips free of the whole thing and now it's like cool second attack pathetic flesh thing what are you doing back there 22 to hit 22 hits uh uh that is 12 points of damage i rolled crap on that one but that's okay and you know what i'm gonna do the lightning damage anyway because he's still blasting with lightning okay so deck save failure a half anyway because of uh, resistance Sixteen lightning damage. As you smack it, the second strike ripping out part of the thing, you channel the lightning. It goes inside this metal carapace, this device, and you begin to hear explosions. You begin to hear Ethereum gas and engine erupting. The whole thing explodes. Oh, cool. I need you and Nova to make deck saves. Oh. Sawsbone. Oh. Theorem explosions. Uh, 10. 20, 24. All right, Ayla's taking half damage. Nova, you're taking full. Shit. 28 points of damage. Force damage. This thing erupts with magic. Uh, it kind of assails you both. Uh, I believe that it is 140 feet up in the air. Um, Nova and Nova begins to fall. <laughs> like with this thing, the, the wreck just screams, comes screaming down. Can I grab her? Can I like lunge forward and grab her? Because I'm still flying. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If you use your reaction, you have your reaction, right, Ayla? Yeah. If you use your reaction, I'll let you make it. I'll let you make an attempt to grab her. Yeah, I'll, I can attempt. Yeah, I'm happy to attempt. Yeah. Sure. What? So this would be a me? yeah dexterity, just a straight dexterity check. D20 plus dex, DC 15, just to try and grab her. Uh, 16. Oh! 16. So you just... reach out. Uh, you kind of see the explosions. You fly over, reach out a hand to Nova, uh, who you know you guys grip each other's forearms, and then as and then the whole ship just begins to careen down smashing into the glass at the base of the tower right just plumes of smoke rising up there's definitely no, nothing more happening nothing more coming <laughs> jet down cool. you're out that's of initiative my, that's my turn oh. <laughs> oh are we okay um i'll lower nova to the ground then Sure. Yeah, you guys begin floating your way down to the ground. Uh, you two being the closest now, you can see that there is a kind of broken section uh, up the at the base of the tower that leads inside. Cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and, and so the jet's just done, right? It's just... It's it done is a so. smoldering done wreck. Through. Smoking, you can Does see... That, like, all the lightning is crackling over it from its engines and things like that. But yeah, just smashed into the glass maybe parts of the tower have collapsed on top of it now as well kind of covering it in debris does anything come out of it or does it no. transform i mean i guess like you watch it for a time nova sits there and watches and waits nothing comes out of it it does not transform this this tower does it have like an is it i'm imagining like a lighthouse thing where it has an open thing at the top uh, it's not open at the top no it does have it just looks like totally maybe encased. It looks like it had some, like maybe you know, a lattice work or something like that at the top, but it's completely um, glass now, so there is no opening at the top. Okay, so um, we have to go in, like up in the center. Yes, of it. it does okay. look like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll I'll head down to where uh, Sentry and Lucius now are. Uh, okay. I guess to the top of this building. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I think. I think. I think. It's done, I think. I mean, it exploded and it's crashed, but we should get to the top of the tower as soon as we can. Is everyone happy and willing and healthy and good to go? Yes, I we shouldn't. Go. Shouldn't we? Good waste to any go, time. but I don't think I don't think that's the end of Breeze. That was too that was too quick. Just oh, saying. Lord Raster's still here somewhere. He must be. I mean, it did blow out one of its wings in one hit. That was insane. Uh Okay, uh, how's everyone looking? 
between one and their health level. <laughs> We're fine, Quill. Let's let's keep moving. Okay. How are you going to get sent? Sentry's current. Sentry and Lucius are currently on the roof. Um, Lucius still has fly, I think. Um, oh, yeah, I still have fly, so I can help people get down as well. Okay, so Ayla kind of ferries Sentry down. down. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, you guys uh, make your way down. You escort everyone down, and together, you as a group, uh, make your way into the tower. Uh, Amazing. I, I, I don't know why I called for aid, uh, but I thought it might be easier, uh, Sentry, maybe once we've dealt with the tower, that everyone's in the right place for you to, uh, you know, do your Sentinel Prime thing. That was a really good idea. Or oh, maybe Thank I've you. just drawn all the feral guardians uh, to us. I don't know. We'll see. There is oh, definitely sound in the city. Many, many things moving, echoing, bouncing off the glass. Something. <laughs> when you guys make your uh, way up the steps, go on, Tom. Sorry, I was just going to do a level four cure wounds on Nova. Um, Thank you, my love. Uh, it's 26 20 healing to that one. There you go, 26, bam. Thank you, my love. That's... Oh, I'm on exactly 69 health points. Nice. nice. Carry That's on with your dramatic storytelling. <laughs> All Great. part of the plan. Is, is there a way I can move one of these statues to block the entrance? I think you and Ayla together could. I think you on your own, it would still be quite hard. These are big statues. These are sort of like, you know, nine, Ooh, ten foot boy. solid, thick glass statues. Yeah. Um, but you and Ayla together could definitely, definitely pull it down once everyone's inside. When you guys go to initially enter the doorway, though, um, two crossbow bolts and a beam of light kind of kind of impact against the, the side of things. Um, you hear Harold's voice kind of call out, which like, if you are with the Dominators, you'll find no easy victory here. It's, it's me, it's Sentry. Herald, we're here. Sentinel Prime. And then you see kind of emerging from uh, looking inside all of the furniture here, transformed to glass, but some of it's been broken and formed basic barricades in what appears to be like the lower floor of a uh, very ornate researcher's tower. You can see that there was once sort of bookshelves and things like that. They've all been since turned to glass. Um, but you see Harold, Chipper, who was a woods working uh, guardian that you met in Callie's Rest, and Scout, which was a smaller, who was a friend of Tracker's uh, when you were going all through Callie's Rest. The two, the two of them accompany Harold, um, the two normal guardians with crossbows, and then Harold with her kind of um, you know, magical abilities uh, seem to have been trying to hold off this place. When they see you, they all kind of came out and uh, look relieved. Uh, Oh, Sentinel Prime! Thank goodness you're here. I was, did did sweep and the and, and smasher. Did they manage to contact you? Did you get their message? Are they safe? We did. Yes, they're safe. What what are you doing? Where's Where's Rook? I heard that you had Rook. Yes, his um his form is uh, at the top of the tower next to the conduit. Well, I needed somebody who had the correct uh, who had royal authorization to activate parts of it. Uh, I used Rook. I used Rook previously when he was under my command. I needed his I needed his imprint. I needed an imprint from his gauntlets to, to activate it this time. So we brought him with us. Um, okay. I wasn't sure if you would get here in time. Well, I'm glad we got here. Are you okay? Is everybody okay? Not as well as can be. It's been harrowing. These... I didn't want to bring any other guardians into this, but uh, these ones mentioned that they knew you and that they they wanted to help uh, you see chipper kind of like kind of gives like a little nod of his head uh, and scout kind of looks up and she's like ah oh, you look very different sentry it's been it's been a long time since i last saw you both kaylee's rest feels like a whole other lifetime ago now i'm sure harold's told us of some of the things that have happened it doesn't seem that long to us but i'm guessing to you it's been a lifetime or so but uh Yes, uh, we are. Uh, we wanted to help when we heard of everything. When we heard Harold's message, when we heard about guardians gathering here for you, well, we knew we had to come. Th thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Af after the last time we met, I was hoping I'd get a chance to set things right with with all of you. Well, there was nothing ever to fix with us, Sentry. 
We understood you did what you could. It was that, it was that breeze took us all in. And now Harold tells us that this breeze has transformed himself into something else, something even worse. Yeah, it seems like Hadar's fully taken control. Uh, Quill, you definitely notice that Harold did like physically pulls away from censuring the others when they start talking about the Dominators and, Her and Hadar and stuff like that. Um, sort of pulls herself yeah. away. That makes sense. The sh Harold turns around to all of you. I, in fact, uh, well, I take it that that fighting we heard outside, you must have been battling whatever that that airship, that air device was. It's been hounding us for a, a few hours now. Yeah, it's down for now. I, I don't know. I don't fully trust it. It something doesn't seem right with me. I don't know. We need to hurry. We don't. The the sooner that we can get the conduit active. I'm glad that you are all here. However, I, I need your assistance. I think that this battle around the city, the airships firing upon us, uh, an airship crashed recently, and it's damaged the the. The devices which power the conduit. I, I can't repair it on my own. I, I don't have the knowledge. I was hoping that perhaps you and your companions will be able to assist. Uh, it's on the floor above in the midsection of the tower. Uh, it seems that it's the only part of the city that survived the transmutation effect. Hmm. Well, we're happy to help any way we can. Well, this is Sen Sentinel Prime. This will be, if we can fix this, I believe that the conduit can help us. It can help everyone. All guardians. At least the ones here. Of course. Come with me. And Harold just begins to make her way up cracked, broken glass stairs, um, gesturing for you to follow. Yeah, I'll follow. Since you got a messenger ring. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I think Lucius would say in the messenger ring... Does Harold seem okay to you? Completely herself. She seems... Just, just to be sure. She seems okay to me. Have what, what have you noticed? Nothing. I'm just making sure. The conduit sounds like a powerful device. We call out to all guardians. I just want to make sure that we're doing the right thing and that it's going to go okay without any other influence. Lord of Rest has already been here, we don't know. Okay. Well, let's keep, let's keep our eyes open. If anything looks weird, let's let each other know. Okay, right. All right. Anybody with a messenger ring heard that? Not Quill, though. Um, not Nova. No. Uh, no. So if you guys follow, uh, you make your way up the broken stairs. As soon as the group of you, especially when Sentry begins making their way up the stairs, you can see that the inside of this tower is a lot more fragile than you thought. Like the stairs crack and break away. You kind of have to be really cautious making your way up. But eventually they lead you to a midsection of the tower, which is the first place you've seen in the City of Glass where not all of it has been transmuted. In fact, it looks like there is a perfect spherical chamber which has been protected somehow. Cool. And you see, uh, it, resembling a sort of a Magitech laboratory, you can see devices and consoles built around a kind of central circular dais. Um, you can see that there is another set of staircases that leads up uh, that again looks very broken and damaged. Um, it goes up to a higher, goes up to the higher sections of the floor. Uh, you can see that there are four crystal lenses with crystals built into them. Most of them are broken uh, into many pieces. Uh, you can see that there are Magitech devices attached to each one, and then there are these uh, almost vine-like connections. Uh, they connect pairs of the crystals. Um, two of them are broken and they look like they've been shattered. There's all sorts of glass debris, sections of the ceiling have collapsed, the staircase has fallen down, and that looks like it's it, the fallen staircase looks like it's the reason that this device in the center seems to have been damaged. Um, Harold points so, at it. Go on. So is it meant to the, the four gems around the circle, are they meant to be connected by these gems and two of them are not connected? 
Uh, the four gemstones are built into kind of like uh, lenses, um, and right. all four gemstones have cracks and, and br uh, are broken. Uh, then there are connections between each two. So imagine like chains or like lines going between sets of two. Um, yeah. Two of them are intact, and then two of them have got their chains broken. So kind of difficult. You okay. can see a little bit bit easier on the map. Obviously, podcast listeners, hopefully you can kind of follow along. Um, but they all seem totally to... Disconnected. <laughs> Yeah, the two at the south are completely disconnected. Um, the lenses also look like they should be pointing up towards the ceiling. They are misaligned. They are all twisted and broken or out of out of sequence, basically. Um, Herald points. We were trying to secure downstairs when the uh, whatever caused this damage occurred. And when I came up, this was all broken. When I last use the conduit this was in fully walking working order i i don't know how to repair this um what is supposed to happen is the four crystals focus magical energy up into the conduit itself uh, the conduit can then allow certain guardians those with spe special royal designations to reach out connect with other guardian matrixes within a certain distance it was used to help coordinate the guardians of each city in Solvin, here in Kamina City, and many other places. We need to repair this, and I, I don't know how. Uh, the conduit itself, I can work. The conduit, I know how it functions. Rook's body is currently laying upstairs with it, uh, giving access to its control systems, but this I can't fix. The staircase, I guess, is like completely destroyed and inaccessible it's not inaccessible you can go upstairs yeah you can see it's sections of it are broken which will make it difficult especially for the non-athletic and non-flies like quill you could just fly up but for people yeah, yeah, yeah. that aren't maybe you know maybe lucius and nova who are a bit less athletic this would be like jumping and climbing up there basically um is the fly still active the fly spell or has it been too long now 10 minutes uh, 10 minutes 10 oh, minutes so right. it's Vaguely still active, yeah, um, with conversation. But you're also, you have wings now. No, I meant for uh, getting other people up there as well, because oh, I can't sure. carry people. <laughs> yeah. um, so Lucius and Lucius and Ayla can technically still still fly. Um, but this is, this is it looks like whatever needs to be fixed needs to be fixed here. Uh, and then the upper level is where, assumingly, Herald and Sentry will actually activate what they do. Yes, Nova. Can I make an arcana check or, or a similar check to kind of look mm -hmm. around and be like, this is what might need to be doing, done? Did sure, you? you don't even need to make a check uh, for that just because oh. you know, there's no chance of failing. Um, if you want to do it quickly, make a check. If you want to take time, like you could spend like, you know, sort of like five, ten minutes, like looking at everything, examining it and figuring out the problem. If you want to try and make a quick rough guess, then you can make a, a check for it. Uh, I'll take five minutes to have a proper sure. look-see. Yeah, so uh, Nova begins looking around, and looking at this Nova, yeah, there's there's clearly some problems that need to be fixed. Each of the gemstones needs to be repaired. They need to be put back together. Um, probably something like a mending cantrip can do that, but it would just take time, and somebody with careful arcane focus, uh, concentration, um, inter intelligence to do. Um, that needs to be fixed. They All of the lenses need to be realigned as well. That will take precision. Somebody who has a keen eye, um, who can, you know, who has uh, dexterity and maybe a bit of strength as well to kind of reposition them. The more concerning uh, fix is the two broken power cables, we'll call them. They're ruined to the point where they won't stretch. They won't meet each other and they can't be repaired. You will need to find a way to replace the the con like something to act as a as a connector something will need to take the place of the cable and channel energy from one crystal to the other um could it could it be something like um like say i cast wall of light and put the walls between the broken like could that channel it or do you, is it more like a con like wall a, of light like it Nova. would need to be something that can conduct the energy the wall of light energy if it passes into the wall of light it doesn't pass the energy along um mm -hmm. this would need to be something like a material like some sort of object um i mean at a case you've seen you've seen one of your allies do something similar when ayla was on the storm chaser ship she channeled energy 
yeah. from the storm into the 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 ship itself that just a lightning rod way. for for many many times not just, here not, just not just Ayla though <laughs> you've also seen Lucius and Sentry act as yeah. conduits for power as well um Tian Gong in theory could be as well yeah. Tian Gong is a conduit of magical energy um the spear yeah. of oracles could be the risk here is how much energy is this going to take and will it have any consequences <laughs> Would something like the Rod of Alertness that I have, would that be too low level to I think that um, would be too low conduct. level. That's like a, it's okay. a cool item. Um, it certainly might help in other ways, but it's not, it's also not long enough. Like this is like a span okay. of like 15 feet. You're going to have to like stretch um, mm -hmm. between each one. So a, a, an individual okay. can do it. If they stretch out their arms and stand in the middle, they can kind of reach the two ends. Mm -hmm. um, but something, otherwise you'd need something, you know, more substantial or maybe like, you know, 10 feet, maybe 10 feet gap. Okay, so just imagine that Nova's been tinkering, measuring, thinking. She just stands up and holds up a hastily scratched parchment. Okay, team, I have a plan. The gems need this, the lenses need this, and the power cables. Hey, Ayla, how do you want to be a lightning rod again? Yes, thank you! Go. And go. And go. I and go what? Ayla becomes a lightning rod now? <laughs> Well, first of all, we need to fix the gems, okay? So something like mending or a little bit of precision. Um, someone super clever, like oh. me. Um, and, and then uh, the lenses, as you can see, they're all out of alignment. We need to align them. Sentry, Ayla, perfect. I think you'd be amazing at realigning these so they point upwards. Um, and then, yes, unfortunately, the main problem is that there are no power cables between this crystal here and this crystal here. So we are probably going to have to use our bodies. Our, our bodies? There's no other method of energy transference other than frying us again. It could be. If we can find something, a material that stretches between the two that is power, that is strong enough to conduct the magical energy, then yes. Uh, Lucius, on that, the, the first thing that comes to your mind would be Ethereum. That's what Ethereum does. Um, if you had say. a... Uh, could we salvage parts of uh, Lord of Rastor's ship from the outside and use that? There might be Does mean lifting the statue you? again. It did explode. I can, I can come help. Uh, and we would have to cart it into here, but that could be an option. Um, Should we also check upstairs as well? Yeah, I was going to say I, I was going to fly up look. and have a check of the situation upstairs. Sure. Harold will say, the upstairs has not been damaged, but if you do wish to see the conduit, uh, it is not active, is the only issue. I think you should check it out, Quill. And I can I grab a lot. Sentry? Actually, can I grab Nova and Harold sees her up? Lucius <laughs> winking. Is something wrong, Lord Elanast? Uh, something in, in my eye, sorry. We were Harold flying very quiet. fast out there. I might have a bit of glass or something. You, you have doubts about me. I understand that. I know how close I became to like them. And she gestures outside the tower. I have not forgotten. I have not forgotten what I did in this place. What I did to Rook and many other guardians. I have not forgotten how close I came. Sentinel Prime gave me a chance to prove myself to undo the evil that I've done here. Please trust me. I want to... I want to make good on what I did here. And before the day is done, I will. You've more than proved yourself. I was a 24 on insight, by the way. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, like, I'm going to insight what she just said to... Sure. Yeah. Uh, Sentry, like, and you wanted to say something. So while you make that roll, like Rihanna speak, and then sorry, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. cut you off. You've you've more than proved yourself, Harold. You've done so much. You don't it's have not to a matter of, keep pushing yourself so hard. It is not a matter of proving myself, Sentinel Prime. I understand that I have earned your earned your faith, but that doesn't undo the things I did here. I nearly uh, this Veracitor 
I was one step away. One step from becoming just like them. You saved me from that. You stopped it before I made that final deal with Hadar. But I... I killed a lot of guardians here. I controlled them. I used them like puppets. I need to make that right. I need to give them back the life that I stole from them by helping you, by fixing this conduit. You were so close and yet you didn't give in to what Lord Verast has given in to. You're a far stronger guardian than they will ever be. Thank you, Sentinel Prime. I hope that, I hope that I will prove your statement correct and that your faith in me will be your faith in me will be returned now come I'll show you the conduit and yeah Harold will lead you upstairs nice one Lucius you had to wink <laughs> does cool say that <laughs> no 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 uh, but I got a 19 on my insight uh, if that helps since it guardians are Guardians are tricky ones because all of your normal understanding of body language and facial expression doesn't really apply. Um, but you've spent enough time with Sentry that you recognize like the way that their their matrixes and their lights blink under different emotional states. Um, and I mean, you you remember what Harold did here. You remember how she nearly took her own life before Sentry stepped in. She was willing to kind of end it all, um, and you, and Sentry stopped her. Uh, you think that in this case she's probably telling the truth like you don't get any miss you don't get any idea of of um manipulation or sure. uh misdirection okay yeah i mean yeah when, when i saw her backing away from the hadar speech and the dominator speech yeah, i didn't i didn't up. see that necessarily as like oh she's Ooh. working with them as much as yeah. just like she felt guilty. she knows what she did she, it was her past exactly it, but your um, insight check affirms your own suspicions, Tom Hazel. How about that? Yeah. Hey, BT Dubs, everyone's talking about my throbbing perception, but they haven't seen my gorging insight. <laughs> Plus Huge. <one>. Huge. <laughs> Can we just break. phrase it like that? <laughs> Let, no one said take, that. On that note. <laughs> Let's take oh, my God. oh my God. And we'll leave hey, Thomas Mark. to... Go on. Uh, a couple of hours ago, before the episode, you were you were telling us about this cool encounter that you came up with, and you can never predict what we're going to do. Could you have predicted Sentry home run Duncan a bomb into the thing? Home run uh, I dunk, did not predict a home run dunk, <laughs> uh, but I did predict that there would be some shenanigans, which is why I gave the missiles like AC and hit points. So, like, I'm going to try and knock it away. I'm going to try and use gust of wind to blow it back i'm gonna try and absorb it you know i yeah mm, i expected it. something like that a teleport slam dunk no but kind of, I, kind there of is one coming. thing tom unex expect the unexpected now that's that's the matter oh, is off the cloud rihanna's got it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah amazing cool, what a a cool fight though and then we get gotta get puzzling a, you think you think that was a cool fight, do you, Tom Hazel? I know there's more. <laughs> I know there's more. Yeah, we're we're not we're not. This um, isn't the last episode. What? I hate that. Rassetal has given his big speech, so yeah. No. And I, he's going to have to do it in the chipmunk voice. No. Oh. No. <laughs> I'm you and mods, you're in trouble with me for putting that poll up as well. So anyway, yeah. Tom, read messages. All right. Whoa, nice one, mods, putting that poll together. It wasn't me that did that. <laughs> Thomas, you <laughs> sneaky boy. You sneaky, sneaky. Hey, real quick, I just want to interrupt today's episode to talk about today's sponsor for High Rollers, Manscaped. Manscaped is here to ensure your post-quarantine body is ready for the summer. Even if you've let everything go in lockdown, the least you can do is make sure you're not rocking some gross layer of fur like a bugbear or something. You're not a bugbear, you're a man. 
Take it from me, the weedy nerd child that can barely grow a creepy stash even if I wanted to. Which I don't, but if I could, I'd use the Perfect Package 3.0 kit with the Essential Lawnmower 3.0. It's the best trimmer on the market and features some advanced skin safe technology pioneered by Manscaped. You can also adjust settings to get any length you want, so why not get creative? Shave Quill's face onto your chest, it's just an idea. Anyway, a subscription to the Perfect Package gets a new blade refill for your lawnmower 3.0 trimmer delivered straight to your door every three months and for a limited time subscribers will get two free gifts the shed travel bag and the high performance manscaped boxes wow so if you want to grab a load of free stuff and shave some high rollers related things onto your body if you want to then head to manscaped.com slash high rollers and you'll even get 20 percent off and free worldwide shipping so do yourself a favor and always use the right tools for the job with manscaped Anyway, back to the episode. Uh, hello, it's me, the Donation Boy. This time reading some big donations, just like last time, the time before that, and the time before that, and the time before that, and the time before that. Hey, uh, we had some donations from Brian Indigo way before the stream began. It was a $5 dollars do donation with no message. Thank you very much. And then another uh, donation from Brian Indigo that said, I forgot my message on the last one. My bad. Thank you for donating twice just to put a message that said that you forgot the message and no message. Thank you. Uh, Colo has donated uh, a hundo and a half, 150 dollar e dues. Thank you very much. And they say, love you guys. And that's it. Thank you very much, Colo. Uh, very, very generous donation. Amazing. Um, DN or Diane for music uh, with a quarter hundo. Hi, everyone. I finally have the chance to thank you for all the wonderful content. I've laughed, I've cried, I've had such a great time. You have all brought so much joy to my life in the last year when I started watching. Thank you all so much. Thank you very much. Uh, Dn for music, Diane for music, Dean for music. One of those. Thank you very much. Harrison and a lot of numbers has donated a quarter hundo, and they say, what's on? Thanks. Uh, High Rollers is on. It's done done time. Mr. Altissimo with a quarter hundo. Thank you very much. Hey, all. Been a bit. Uh, life has been kind of nuts, but happy to have you all here on my Sunday. To Tom, uh, maybe a compromise for the instant kill. Uh, seek out some vorpal weapons, maybe. Clear skies from Texas. Clear skies. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, I, I regret saying that natural 20s should be an insta-kill because, yeah, we would have died a hundred times over. I think Quill would have died like five times, maybe. I think that's as many times as I've been crit. So, yeah, not going to happen, but Vorpal Weapons, I'll look into it. I feel like I know what they do. That is, a, that is a natural 20 insta-kill thing, Vorpal Weapons, right? If so, shit. Lord Dreamer has donated with to the fantastic High Rollers. Every time I tune into your show, I find myself being super inspired and my love of D&D fueled more and more. Much love from the other side of the pond. Thank you very much, Lord Dreamer. Uh, Natalie June Hawthorne. Uh -huh. This week, my players, Jesus Christ. This week, my players killed Lol's avatar in a fight and took her head as a trophy because my players are just like that. They've made an enemy for all time, that's for sure. Doesn't matter. They are unkillable. Uh, they have already won. And... Nothing can kill them. They are gods. Gods among men. Uh, Darth Day 41 with a donation and a message. Thank you very much. We also had some gifted subs from Being Wolfie, Sith Lord Chimmy Changa, and Dork Love Sports, and also some bit donos from Trumpole and Inflatable Cat. Thank you very much. Um, we also had a raid from our good friend, Digby. Wow. Thank you very much, Digby. You're still here. Uh, and I don't know when the raid was. I think I missed it. You're still here. Hi. If you came from Digby's channel, hi. This is High Rollers. It's D and D. You're still there. Thank you very much, Digby. You're the best. Um, I hope you like D and D because this is it. You're about 120 episodes late. Here's the recap. No, I ain't got one. Uh, it's too many episodes. <laughs> um, but thank you very much for the raid. That's awesome. I hope your stream was great. And we also had a best sub message as well already. Uh, from Hrisa that says, 36 months? That's almost 10 years, as Tom would put it, perhaps. Math is a skill, you know? Yeah, it's about 10 years. Give or take. Take. Give or take. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, 
And that is all for now. Until the very end of the episode, I will read some more. But hey, if you want to support High Rollers, uh, then why not check out the Patreon, where you can get early access to our podcast episodes. Uh, and um, and you can support us on there. That would be amazing. That would be great. And we, put, we take all that and we make the show better with all of those, all, those, all that support. Send them forward. Love. Got new mics for everyone. That was like a good thing we bought recently. Got everyone on nice mics. <gasps> oh mics. my god! Rianne's not eating she, a snack. She ain't eating. Oh, Fucking Chris on? Shot is though. Katie is. What a twist! <sighs> the sn- oh, is two. snacks. Everyone but Re. Oh, we forgot to put the bet up, so it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. Damn it! What happened? We need to try and no, put the, the uh, re snack bet. Just... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, I'll be back thanks, now. everyone. Second. If Tom hasn't said it, thanks again to our amazing sponsors for this episode. I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> D&D Beyond and <laughs> Chris Troll. Have I got it? Penny Dragon Games. Correct. <laughs> not, not Penny Wise Games. Uh, Penny Dragon Games, Mag of Holding, and D&D Beyond. Thank you very much for sponsoring today's episode. Don't forget Penny Dragons, Mag of Holding, Pirates and Seafaring. It's only got two days on its Kickstarter. So if you want it, if you want awesome stuff to add to your uh, to your piratey themed nautical themed adventures, go and do it now because it's 47 hours left. Look at that. It's less than two days left. Um, I'm going to definitely stuff. be I'm, I'm definitely going to be using some of their uh, like arcane artillery and stuff like that. So yeah. well worth checking out. Lots and lots of stuff in there and it's already funded. So you're going to get it in September. If you back September, it now, they do quick turnarounds on these. Yes, there we go. Bam. Thank you. Amazing. And also D and D beyond, please use the link. Uh, if you're interested in using D and D beyond that helps us using the links in chat and all the description. Much appreciated. Thank you, everybody. Ugh. Indeed. <laughs> I had to resist a yawn. I felt a yawn coming and I was I like, don't think you won. <laughs> I did. I did win. I did. You can't tell me otherwise. Uh, we just gotta wait for Tommy 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 Hizzle to come back and then we're gonna crack back Tommy on. Tazel. Thanks for sticking with us. It's hot in here. Hommy Hotty Tazel. Hommy yeah, Tazel. Warm. I thought it was supposed to be getting cooler. They lied. Mm. It's gonna mm. get hot in this room when we tether our bodies to these crystals and totally power a conduit that makes everyone Hadar touched on yep. the planet of Aroas. Yeah. And beyond. That's it. That's it. I mean, yeah. Hold one it. only one insight check could have been a failure. You know, it wasn't a twenty, was it? It wasn't a twenty. It wasn't a twenty. Could still be a liar. High charisma, lol. Or Harold's just a pawn they're unaware. You know? You don't know. Manchurian candidate stuff. You know? Like Winter Soldier, you speak a command phrase to Harold and that's it. It just goes nuts. Anyway. Shed. Lifeboat. <laughs> uh, Brand. Lucius. Lucius. <laughs> clear skies. Oh, what if clear skies <gasps> is the activation word? <gasps> oh, no! This whole no! time we've been conditioning people. Oh. Holy macaroni. Anyway. Holy macaroni. Well, we jump back in. Uh, welcome back. We return to Eroes with the party in a tall glass tower, a glass spire in the city of glass, where they have met Harold and two remaining guardians who are attempting to get the conduit, some sort of Solvin enchanted relic that will allow Harold to contact and communicate with guardians all over the city of glass, potentially giving Sentry a way to reach out and connect with all of their matrices. However, to do so, first things first, it needs to be repaired as this thing has sustained damage from various battles in the city of glass. Um, so, what do you guys want to do? Uh, we wanted to check upstairs, I think, right? Have a little, yeah, have a little wander. Um, Taylor, we wanted to wanted to go outside and harvest some of that jet too. Sure. Uh, jet. Oh, the uh, aether jet. Yes. So, yeah. going upstairs, uh, those of you who can make your way up there, you see that um, the the stairs kind of curl around and go up for quite a distance, and then you emerge into a, a rather open chamber. This one hasn't been protected um, specifically from the transmutation effect, but there is a small center where a small kind of globe shape of the tower itself seems to have been protected, um, and sat in the middle of it is 
the best way to describe it would kind of be like a large metal column uh, inscribed with runes, uh, decorated with inlaid crystal and ethereum looking metal, silvery looking metal. Uh, connected to it are all sorts of uh, strips of chains of warded runes that seem to be scattered and engraved into the floor and walls of the tower itself. Uh, lying at the foot of this column, this metal column, with their hand kind of placed um, up against it, kind of almost like resting as if they were touching the tower, you see a guardian's body, a kind of bulky warrior-like figure uh, engraved with sort of rose and vine themes um, that you would recognize as Rook, who was once an enemy, a partial enemy. Um, one of the bodyguards of Queen Astoria of Solvin um, and somebody that Sentry had known uh, during her time there working in the palace. Um, and his body is currently laid uh, almost peacefully at rest, except for this one hand, which is kind of placed up against the column itself. Um, okay. And he doesn't look... Uh... Hadarian in any way, like uh, something's been happening to him. Just a, just the body as we remember him. So you go? Are you going over and like examining the body and like you know, prizing open his armor to look at his matrix or anything like that? Or ah, oh, I mean, I'm not getting all up in his gutty works. Just want to have a little looky, you know? Have a little at, have at a, a brief little at, a, at a brief glance. You do not see any signs of Hadar corruption. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Kim's face. And these uh, these warding runes, is, is that what protected the room below from the glassing? Well, the, the room below and this metal column, this conduit itself, appears to have been protected from the transmutation effect as well. Um, it may be that there's other parts of the City of Glass like this that had, you know, magical protections, um, but this is just the first one you've encountered. Um, okay. Okay. Um, and you can I, kind of see, Quill, up on this uh, up on this level. Any of you who are up here, you can see that there are sections of the floor which have like metal discs set into them. And judging by what you remember of the area below, you imagine that this is where the the focusing lens need to be directed towards. They need to be pointed up at these metal discs so they can capture the the magical energy. Okay, but is there anything to repair up here at all, or is this like doesn't doesn't look like it? Okay. Hmm. Um. Lucius, who's who's here actually? Oh, upstairs. Uh, I think Ayla flew Nova up. Yeah. Uh, so it'd be Nova, Ayla, and Quill, and then I guess Sentry and Hadar. 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 Harold. Oh. Oh, he gave oh. it away. <laughs> no, I just have two things that both begin with H, and my brain is not work. Guys, I've, you, you know me. <laughs> that is not an indicator of <laughs> anything. We Pray got him. Sir. We got him. You got me. I'd like to insight me. check the DM, please. <laughs> like just sure. the DM, like Mark Humes, the yeah. DM. <laughs> you can D you DM me, and you find out I'm stupid, and I constantly DC mix one. words up. <laughs> yeah, DC one. DM <laughs> stupid. Uh, so. <laughs> Um, Lucius, what do you, what what do you what do you think? Not uh, you're not there. Lucius I you there. could fly as well. He's the only one who isn't. You know He's what? Chosen not to. Anyone who's interested, then, what do you what do you think about Harold? I I, I believe what she said. Uh, that that is Harold here too. Yep. Fuck me! He just said. He literally just said that she's he right said, there. <laughs> and then he said, Harold. You know, I'm gonna go back down to Lucius. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys carry Harold on. Watch as you go. Theme. <laughs> you see Lucius like pointing his finger and like holding his hand with his other hand. It's like needs very stable hands. And he's pointing at a lens. No, I can't do it. I need Nova. Hi, Quill. Um, hi. Uh, I mean, Nova said that we need um, bodies, bodies specifically to harness all of this power. Um, sounds bad. Doesn't have to be bodies. Can be anything that can come to it, act as a conduit. You hear from above oh, as you hear a weird wailing noise from the feral guardians outside. So anything that's said in this place is heard by everyone. Great. <laughs> 
can't just have a time alone to talk about how concerned we are about Harold. Jeez. If only you had a messenger ring. If only. Uh, Harold will look at Sentry uh, and sort of gesture to, to Rook's body. I'm hoping that when, when we're finished here, we'll be able to speak to him again. Can't we speak to him now? Oh, you you can, Sentinel Prime, but not I. I'm afraid that in our battle, fighting him, his spirit is is. Well, normally, if guardians enter their their feral state, there is at least seemingly some sort of ember of life that still remains. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if destroyed guardians can still be saved by the Matrix. I'd hope so. I'll, uh, I'll go down and to Rook sure. and yeah, um, try and connect to the Matrix. You reach out and for the first time, think since you got the Prime Matrix entry, when you place your hand on the Matrix, it is cold and lifeless. There is not a soul there to communicate with. A guardian destroyed in battle, it seems. If their their matrix is broken, if they're destroyed in combat, if they die like um, another mortal race, that may be it. Oh, this wasn't supposed to be this way. <sighs> is there no way we can bring them back? I do not know. Sentinel Prime Rook and I spoke briefly, but not very much often. My knowledge of the Prime Matrix is limited. It may be that Rook may have answers, but even then, Rook is but one bearer. There were Primes before Rook. There, the, the, the Prime Matrix itself came from somewhere. It, I do not know where. To understand its powers. I don't have the energy to speak to Root right now. Perhaps it is just a matter of case of... I think that in a way... We do not worship gods as your companions or as the people of Oroes do, but they have a phrase. We must have faith. Faith that there is an answer, that there is a way to save guardian spirits when they are gone. We know that the Prime Matrix can help replenish us, that can take us into its embrace and return those into new bodies, but perhaps there is a greater power to it. Perhaps there is a greater purpose to it. And if anyone can find it, I believe it is you. Thank you, Harold. Rick was a great friend. Hopefully we'll see him again soon. If you have faith, then so do I. Understandable. Anyway, we must continue. We must get this operational quickly. I heard uh, the noises of the battle outside. I am cautious of it may attract attention. Okay, let's get to work. Okay. All right. So if everyone heads downstairs, do you guys want to try and salvage stuff out of the, the Veracitor's Aether Jet? Um, what's the plan here? Worth well, a try. If we can get some Ethereum out of it. Sure. Yeah, happy to lend a hand. All right, who's going to go and do that? Not me. <laughs> I'll go do it. I would, yeah. I was thinking I can, I'd have I can a look help. at the gems. All right. Yeah. Okay. I can so help with that while I do yeah. that. But I don't yeah, know sent- what Ethereum... Like, yeah. I wouldn't know what to salvage, can, so I'd just be yeah, like, I can, can lift, lift things everything. for you. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right, so Nova's staying to repair crystals. Quill is staying to do something. Lucius? When Nova comes back down and mentions gems, Lucius just walks over and then puts his arm out and um, points his index finger. Just If you could just uh, use my wrist and you do the very dexterous uh, perfectionist men I'll just cast the spell in my finger and you 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 point it at the right places Nova uh, I, I mean what what I, why you, you're perfectly capable Lucius like honestly I'm panicking you can do this I'm gonna smush his cheeks 
Shh. No this panic. Is a spell. Oh. I want you to take a deep breath with me. One, two, three. Hold. Three, Ooh, two, one. Let go. Sun's getting real low, big guy. <laughs> You've got this. I'm sleepy. I believe in you. <laughs> That's fine. I find when I get a little bit sleepy, that shuts out the many voices in the back of my brain. Um, but I believe in you, Lucius. I think you've got this. You're okay. There's nothing to panic about. It's fine. We fixed things before, and we'll fix this. All right. Okay? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So while Sentry and Ayla, you guys begin heading outside, kind of pulling on this, you know, Ayla lifting up this giant glass statue uh, to kind of make way for you guys to head outside. Um... Ada and Lucius, you guys want to start repairing the gemstones, right? So what I need you to do is you've got two choices. You can either make a plain dexterity check, and this is to uh, do the precision of kind of sculpting the, you know, using spells or whatever it is to kind of men make the mending. Um, or you can use investigation to do the fine detailed kind of, you know, pinning things back together and using more of a kind of an intellectual approach uh, as you do this. I think I'll just be summoning all of my uh, dexterous nature to try and stay mm -hmm. steady and just keep uh, my head empty and letting my body sure. do the work, my finger do the work mm -hmm. with mending. All right, so dexterity check from Lucius and then investigation from Nova, I guess. I'm not too smart. Investigation. <laughs> Twelve. Okay. Uh, 17, oh, 18, terrible. 19. Okay. Um, Nova, you know, with, with care, you kind of manage to match up the broken pieces. You find all them kind of missing pieces, placing them together. And you think you have a vague idea of like, right, okay, yep, this makes sense. Da, 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 da. Uh, Lucius, you keep your hands as steady as you can and you find one of the crystals, which is mostly intact, but has these big heavy cracks through it. You fill it with the same kind of gold uh, filigree kind of when you fixed Tiangong that time. Um, you kind of cause these like, you know, uh, magical kind of gaps begin to seal with this kind of gold filament um it's not perfect there are definitely mistakes but it holds it stays together hopefully as as much as you need it to uh, there are two more gemstones do you guys want to try and do them yourselves or do you want others to try and take care of those gemstones as well i think in that moment there's flashes in lucius's mind he's been trying to push these things down but he's literally recreating the moment where he was trying to repair uh, certain things. He he gasps um, that moment where his lung was pierced and mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Nova, I'm, I'm Did... struggling. I, I'm making mistakes. What's going on? What? I'm going to put everything down and I'm just going to face Lucius. What's going on, Lucius? Tell me. It's, it's, it's all a lot, isn't it? Really? It is. It's all on us. When you think... When you think about how far we've come and what we've been through, yeah. Do you want to know my secret? I just... I just think... I try, I try and put it in a box. I try and put it in a box and put it out. Because the thing is, if we think about all this now, yeah. It's hard. It's hard and the whole fate of the universe is pinning on us. And that's too big a thought. That's way too big a thought. So I try and box it up and break it down and break it down and break it down until it's a small, manageable thing that I can deal with. And right here and now, we're here for Sentry. And that's all that matters. And to help Sentry, we need to fix these crystals. And if you just box that and focus on that, there will come a time, there will come a time when all of this is done and we can open those boxes and think about this again, and it's gonna hurt. But there will be a time for it. I know that's not the best advice, but we need to focus on now and here. And I know you can do this, Lucius. Look what you did for Tiangong. I can't do that. You did that. Your efforts to repair this form were impressive, Lucius Alanasto. I am an ancient being, this form is not a typical item in your world. It takes someone of great sorceretic power in order to be able to repair me. 
Take some comfort in this. Nova Vija believes in you, as do I. Thank you, friends. My one fear is... It's going to be some cracks we can't fill or mend. We can't fix everything. And if something happens, we'll deal with that. We've always dealt with things. When we've been at our lowest, we've still managed to come through. That's the faith I have. That's the faith I have in all of us, and that's the faith I have in you. No matter how bad it's gotten, we've gotten through. So if there are cracks, that's fine. We'll deal with it. All right, I'll try again. All right, so if you can both make the same check again for me. Make a little note on the ones that you've done so far. Fifteen. I don't think Lucius is third too good. He's got a four. Do you have like any ability to re-roll that, or do you want to use like? Do you have anything that lets you re-roll that, or or is that just you know you 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 explain this to me, Chris Trot? Like you you tell me why this is a four. Because uh, I don't want it to just be Lucius failing. Like they, this is your reason why it doesn't work for whatever. So reason. in my mind, mm-hmm. uh, in Lucius's mind, all he's thinking of is it, it, Nova. Is he's trying his best to listen and focus to Nova and Tiang Gong, and mm-hmm. that before Lucius of before would have lapped this up, it, it would have worked. Mm-hmm. He trusts Nova he, implicitly. And he does now, however, flashes of Hadar, sentinel trapped in this dimension. Hadar washing over him, that feeling of emptiness, of nothingness, that release. His mind drifts. Sure. Okay. As the mind drifts, I mean, on on examination, the gem looks completed. It it looks like you've completed it, right? Like the, the gemstone has been repaired. Um to everybody nobody else knows this only an audience only an omnipotent watcher as the audience and myself are is that gap is full of brittle tiny cracks all of those repairs that golden kind of material that lucius uses to repair it has in itself its own cracks its own breaks is extremely brittle but to everybody else it looks repaired uh sentry and ayla you guys make your way outside even you guys can hear this. Ayla more so, your survival instincts, Ayla, of growing up in the woods and hunting animals. Something's coming. You can hear. It's hard. It's it's like a reverberation. It's uh, almost like a, a stampede, or it could be one giant foot. You know, it's 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 like a, a resounding kind of... But it could be dozens of things, and it's echoing throughout the city. What the the sound of the jet crashing, Lucius's call for guardians, maybe even just the presence of Sentry. Something is coming this way. Um, you don't have too much time here. Um, you definitely pick up on that, Ayla. Looking at the ship itself, a lot of it's buried under glass that's broken and collapsed. There's definitely parts of it that are sticking out. This is going to be an intelligence check from both of you guys to figure out what what you need to bring back here. You don't have anyone with expertise to to know what to bring back. Yeah, I thought more people. I thought that um, Quill was coming with us. Otherwise, it's well, a bit pointless. Well, I mean, I, you're here now. I'm, you I haven't roll. done anything. <laughs> Do I? I have disadvantage, right? Because no. I'm exhausted. You're exhausted, yeah. No, I rolled a okay. five. I know nothing. Yeah, that's fine. I got, I got a one on the first one, then a four on the second. <laughs> you guys get out here, and it's you spend some time. Like you try and pull out things, you try and look for stuff that you've seen on the storm chaser. You know, you you guys aren't like, even though you roll bad, you're still trying your best to try and find stuff. You grab a few things that you think might be useful. You find like you know cabling. Nova mentioned cables. You try and grab like these thin, like silver vines almost. Um, you grab a big chunk of what appears to be some sort of engine and you drag that. And as you're doing this, you're hearing this noise getting louder and louder. And like you're just like, right, we got to go. You start dragging it back in. 
uh, Nova, when the stuff that they bring back in, unfortunately, none of it, eh, Lucius and Nova, like, none of this is going to really be functional to to bridge the gap between the crystals. Like, you know, they, they still need to be aligned, but this unfortunately won't work as a conduit. Um, is, is this going to work, Nova? Okay. Is, we, we've got a big, big bit, got a huge chunk I of mean, it. I did say I don't know what I'm doing, and all I can do is lift I stuff. Would... I would like to commend you both in your efforts. A plus for efforts. It's a fail for actual product, though. I, this this is garbage. This, this is actual garbage. I I can't. No, I can't. Okay. Uh, horribly brutal. Well then, uh, find okay. yourself another lightning rod. I I'm try. looking at one. Best. Now let's not discount the Ayla lightning rod. That seems like. It's the best option at the moment, uh, but we have two crystals or two links we need to reform somehow. If we use Ayla for one, well, if how I do will we get the other the one? one? I will go for the second one. Quill, do you have any more healing left? Yeah, I yeah uh, yes. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. I can do a mass cure wounds actually. Harold will also uh, say, I, I have a little energy left that I can use to mend wounds if needed. I could do with a little top up, but it's going to be, it's fine. It's like Aegis 5. It's fine. I will be the second one. It's like Aegis 5. Okay. That's a um, weird anecdote to bring up. You know, with, what with the arm in Aegis 5 when you did that? I lived with it once. I'll live with it again if it comes to Okay. It. Are you sure you don't have to you don't have to do that, Nova? Unquestionably, Sentry. Oh. Sentinel Prime, I know that you would wish to put yourself in this. I must make it clear that without you, none of this works. You are the one who we cannot risk. If you were injured, if you become more exhausted, the, the conduit will be difficult. We need you as strong and as capable as you can be. I I believe it is far better that Miss Vija does this rather than anyone else. Then I will help in any way I can. Any way. You say what you need, and I will give it to you gladly. We still need to realign these crystals. The lenses themselves to me need to be realigned. Uh, Mr. Keelik, if I remember, you have a keen eye. Perhaps you can assist us with this. Uh, we will need both observation and strength to maneuver them back into place. Well then, I will be the strength. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Mask your wounds! <laughs> uh, 24 now? for everyone. Yeah, oh, sure. Okay. I'm full health, so. Oh, thank you. I know that Nova okay. isn't, and I feel like I'll, I don't feel like you're Wait. probably the only one Wait. at full health. Oh, no, I'm not. Hang on. But now I am. How much would you say? Okay. 20, 24. Four. Is anybody else still injured? A little bit at this point. Yeah. Sentry. Nova, Lucius, all right. Um, Herald will also cast Cure Mass Wounds. Um, awesome. That's a 3-8, a... so it's quite a lot of healing. Did that show up? It is showing. Uh, it's extremely lagged for me. Uh, so no. that's going to be plus 3, so it's only 12. It's only an extra 12 hit points, but that goes to everyone. All good. I'll Counts. do it. Um, cool. Yeah, in that case, I'll help out with the... Uh, so you need to do that Perception. first. So one perception <laughs> check and one athletics check, please. From Sentry a... and Quill. Yeah, okay. <laughs> perception. Boom. 27. Not 20, 29. <laughs> hey, so the two, between the, the two of you, uh, you go around Quill, you kind of judge the angle and then you guide sentry like this way lift this up prop this up angle this and you go around to each one and yeah you think you've angled these perfectly so oh, they'll all drive them. all of their energy up to the ceiling as necessary um amazing yeah. all of them done you've succeeded uh on that task um herald will now turn around and say this is now the difficult part i will need to activate the conduit you will need to channel the power once i'm up there once it is activated um, Sentinel Prime, I will call down for you when the conduit is fully charged and is capable of being used. I will call down here, but if you wish to be with your allies to help them to heal them, remain down here for the time being. 
uh, Chipper and Scout, if you can come with me, you can assist me with setting up the conduit. Um, and they sort of nod their heads. Uh, there's not much we can do, but we'll go. Uh, and they'll go up with Herald. But she just kind of looks around to everyone last time. I do not know how much power this will generate, how much you will have to endure. I hope that it is not too much. But know that this is for the fate of many hundreds, who knows how many guardians. This could be the key that Sentry and I need to saving as many as we can. Thank you. Thank you, Harold. Do you have any questions? Uh, no I, questions. I mean, but, but how much attention is this going to draw? I mean, if they're already heading towards us now, a beacon of light in a glass tower. That's she gonna... just looks impassively at Quill. I, su I suggest that we hurry. Hopefully, if this is successful, Sentry will be able to if it is the Feral Guardians, we will be able to stop them. Hopefully. Um, before Nova. we begin, uh, I, Nova wants to get out the Rod of Alertness and bury it in mm -hmm. the middle of the room um, so that it, okay. it activates the protective aura. Um, How? What's the aura size? 60 foot radius. Um, oh. That's and sure that's the it emits... Yeah, it emits bright light, and everyone in the bright light uh, uh, gain a plus one to AC and a plus one to saving throws. And you can also wow. sense any invisible hostile creature in the bright light. Cool. Perfect. How long does that last? Nice. Um, unsure. Ten minutes. Probably. 10 minutes okay so yeah you get like this beak this kind of this single rod in the middle uh it was i think it was actually create you got this from uh shadow song pinnacle didn't you so it's kind of created yeah from uh, that ganassi yeah, yeah yeah so it's like all um ethereum based and you can see it's got t topped with like a magical crystal and it you know projects this uh this thing out um yeah the rod of alertness fills the area um herald the others make their way upstairs and you begin to hear them doing something and then you begin to see the crystals beginning to kind of hum with power and you can see that the enchantment runes on the floor begin to light up and two of the crystals or i should say three of the crystals connected to each other by these kind of coils of power sparks to life and you begin to see kind of raw magic flowing between them and then it begins channeling upwards but two on the end the two on the south the, the the chains are broken like these these connectors are broken and the magic begins kind of flailing out everywhere what do you guys do i will take a deep breath step forward uh quietly ask tian gong if they're ready and then step into the space where i need to yep. i will do my best to convert this energy away from you but you will need to be resolved nova vija this could be painful. Yep, I expect that. Okay. Let's do this. I will pick up the chains, stand there, and I will rage. Okay. So, uh, as you both as you both grab these two ends, I need you both to make Constitution saving throws. Uh, Ayla, I will give you advantage because you're raging. I know normally that's not a benefit of rage, but you are raging. Um, and Nova, you can add Matt the 20, baby. plus two <laughs> bonus from Tiang Gong. 29. Add that to your saving throw. As Tiang Gong's going to try and drive. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, Extra plus two. I was just... Okay. Go on. I was just wondering, crazy question. So I have alter self, which means I can change my appearance into a bigger... Mm -hmm. Would that help? Like, if I was bigger? if I Because it says I can basically... Uh, I assume a different Being form... Um, yeah, don't. Yeah. You, you, how would being bigger help? You, you sell me on this. I don't know. I want to look like Ayla. I want to be a big, muscly. I mean, yeah, Ayla. you can do that. It doesn't I, doesn't help you. <laughs> you look like okay, Ayla, no, but it won't mind. help. You're not as strong um, as Ayla. <laughs> you, you, I, I, again, if you can come up with a good reason, but just being bigger, I need like, how would that help? I think that me? having a bigger muscle mass and a bigger surface area would it better make you conduct the flow of magic. No, right. but it would, is a make bigger surface confident. area to diffuse the magic. And right. it would make me more confident. Her mental resolve. 
really, yep. really good. Through the roof. I'm going to say Probably no, a 32. But it's going to be a no. Uh, I'm going to say no, but you could probably... Uh, uh, Nova is smart enough that maybe something with Alter Self you could do is... Uh, like giving yourself almost because alter self it doesn't have to just be like a disguise like you can actually you know give yourself things like gills and like claws and stuff like that mm. you could maybe try and almost transmute part of your body to have like vents and things like that to try and kind of mm. you know get rid of the the ethereum like you could try and create like areas that can channel it out of your body i'd say that you could try and do that yeah okay yeah like yeah i think that's sure. what i would try and do is, yeah. Yeah. So It'll you create really like weird, these kind of almost. Let's do it. Yeah. It's, and that's the thing is, like, it is weird. Yeah. Go on. Maybe like you know my hair just goes completely wild and like starts kind of like sparking all the magic out of it and yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I I'm think thinking so. vines. Oh, we see for like some reason. like kind of vents and you know slits and things like in your forearms and in your shoulders kind of like open up and like oh, vent gross. some of the excess magic. It is gross, but it helps, so you can have advantage. Sweet. I'm disgusting. Do I still get a uh, plus two from Tiangong or is yep. that negated? Yeah. Okay. That's and this Tiangong is a constitution helping. saving throw. Mm -hmm. Okay. 13, 14, 15, 16 um, on my first 16 throw. total. Okay. Uh, Wait, hold for, on even now. for okay. both of you, I mean, the pain is there. Ayla sorry, 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 sorry. 19. 19. 19. Sorry. 19. The pain is there, Ayla, for you, like, but it doesn't bother you. Like, it, this is nothing. You've you've endured worse. The Storm Chaser was worse than this. Like, having so much divine lightning channeled through your body really pales in comparison. To Nova, this is still quite painful. Um, just channeling this amount of magic, like, it feels like your insides are on fire. You can feel, like, your blood burning, like it's made of acid, but it's also, you know, there's cold running through your body. Like, all this elemental power is just surging through you at once. Um, you guys, uh, it's going to be a little bit of damage. A little bit or a lot? 3d10. Well, we're going to find out. Uh, so it'd be 19 points of damage, half to Ayla, so that'd be uh, 9, and then 19 to Nova, um, and that's psychic damage, so no uh, no normal resistance to that, but you did pass the save, Ayla. Um, like, it hurts, like, holding on to this thing, and it takes a long time. Like, it, you feel like this humming power kind of surging through the machines, and you're gripping onto it, managing to keep hold um, and channeling the energy, but it hurts. It's painful to do. As it does, you see flashes. Um, you begin to kind of almost, uh, you can hear voices. You hear guardians screaming and crying and ra in rage and fear, um, in hunger, in loneliness. You, you Like thousands of them from all around you begin to almost hear them in your mind as whatever this conduit is doing is you can feel it like drawing in like all of these voices and it's channeling itself through you as it does it. Um, maddening so. The rest of you who are outside watching this happen, I mean, this goes on for five ten minutes is like nova and Ayla are having to hold on like constantly channeling this pain through their bodies it's loud as it surges the lightning through the whole chamber is filled with like crackling of lightning of thunder of like roaring fl like it's all this magical energy is building up around you but quill cut through it all that loud the noises that you've heard of like the the creatures outside it's becoming clearer and yes, there are hordes of feral guardians running around, but there's another sound to it. It sounds like a voice, but it's muffled. You can't make out what exactly it's saying. And then you hear like the sound of of like metal snapping together. You hear something thunderous kind of the ground outside the tower. What do you do? Oh. I will tell everyone. <laughs> There's something out there, something big, and uh, it's almost it's almost here. Uh, we might need to. The conduit is still not charged. Is. We need to maintain it for a little bit longer. And we need to find some way to distract it if it's on its way. Okay, I'm I'm going to start making my way outside and start running down. All right, I'll as you it. make for the staircase, uh, Sentry, just as you're about to reach the staircase. The walls of the tower, of the floor you're on, three of them 
smash inward. And you see... Now this is not, not like supporting beams, the entire wall of the thing is just been shattered. <gasps> oh no! Oh, that's a big you piece. See. Oh, that's another He's big hit. piece. Oh, that's a yes, big face. <laughs> it must be as tall as this midsection of the tower. Gigantic. Oh. A giant head bursts through the wall in front of the area. One giant hand rips through one wall. Another hand rips through the other wall as this looming giant metallic creature that is very clearly a dominator. You can see almost made those those giant dominators you fought before, the two that were outside the Temple of Siaska. This thing looks like it's made up of multiple of them. Like they've been joined, <laughs> connected, snapped together. As the giant fist through one end, through the other, and then this face with six glowing red eyes looms through. Sentinel Prime detected. Under orders of Veracitor, engaging now. My friends. Where the hell is Veracitor? <laughs> where is he? It's a great question. Oh my god. Sentry, you would in sort of hearts. run over to the stairs. We have Nova in the middle here, controlling one thing. I, yeah, I uh, was going to head down with Sentry. Sure. Um, so I'm pretty much with Sentry. Uh, All you can see, because the glass tower of the crystal, like it's broken through in sections. Most of its body you can't see. It's still obscured by the 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 kind of fogged up ice and glass. Uh, sorry, the glass that looks like ice. All that you can see is one giant hand, another giant hand, and then the head. Uh, they are three distinct targets, um, and we are going to roll initiative. Holy shit! Yes. <laughs> oh, that was a bad, terrible initiative from me once again. I just rolled another nat 20. What the frick is going on? <laughs> well, that's the third one this episode. Uh, Lucius, total. 17. 17. Felix. Five. Five. Ayla, 20-something. <laughs> 25. 25. Sentry. 13. 13. Nova Vija. 16. 16. Okay. So to describe it, uh, one of the hand, I believe, let me check. Uh, there is the right hand and then the left hand, and we'll go with uh, stage right. So white background hand is right. Gray background is going to be left. Um, and then the head is on the bottom. Uh, the right hand is like a giant, like flexible five fingers thumb hand. It looks like a kind of giant metal gauntlet um, that kind of just smashes oh in. You can't God. see any other effects to it. The left hand, however, is almost like a giant cannon. Um, and you can see that there is an oh, orange Christ. glow deep within the barrel itself. Um, and then the head has these six red eyes and it's scanning it around. Um, uh... You can see that as it's looking at all of you, all of the conduits shut off. Like the, 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 the conduits of magic stop working as it's looking directly forwards. Ayla. Oh, right. So I'm no longer channeling anything you're not channeling anything you also Ayla notice you don't feel as strong as you normally do uh, the oh. effects of your belt and your hammer are not working so what does that mean <laughs> any any magic I items like are not functional so you're just going to have to remit your strength was 20 before so it's just basically two two minus two to your attack rolls and damage rolls okay is that the only... I'm just trying to work out the mechanics of this. Yeah, it's just minus two In to your of... damage, I think. Okay. And then so... if your weapon had a plus on it as well, it'd be... You wouldn't get the plus. That's what I'm trying to work out, because I don't know. I think it had a plus one on it. It did. So... Damn. That's Wait, pretty what about Chain Gond? Yeah. Not working, mm. I'm guessing. We'll find out on Nova's turn. Um, Let's... Great. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try and smack it in the eye, I guess. Okay. Rush Good. forward. Oh. 
Um, so minus two to my attacks, yes? I think it would be minus three because you get plus two from your strength and minus then plus one from the weapon. So minus three. three. So it's plus 10 instead of a plus 13, I mean, which means oh, no. 20. <laughs> 20 total? 20. Smacks into the side of the head. Okay. And damage is minus three as well. Yeah? No? Uh, damage Sorry. is minus three as well. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, I rolled a 10. So. Uh, 18 damage. 18 points of damage. The first blow causes it to kind of rock a little bit. I uh, hit it again in the eye. <laughs> sure. One of the eyes. Massive. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Uh, 24 to hit. Roll to 14. 24 hits. Oh, uh, eight. 16 points of damage. 16 points of damage. As you hit the head, uh, this second blow, um, your magic seems to come back and all the conduits seem to reappear, but that other one is now erratic, as you can see it's opened. Like, as you hit it, it seems to... Its central eye flickers off and is no longer glowing red. Um, okay. You can see that it's got one central eye and then it has five others, and it seems to... Can I focus on this? Can uh, he make a deck save, then? Uh, <laughs> he can try. Oh, uh, 18 minus 2 is 16. Oh, wait, it tries to enough? reel back. Ah! Where's my thing? Uh, did you say 16? Fail. 16. Fail. So it takes Fail. full damage. Five. 16 lightning damage. 16 points of lightning damage. <laughs> Shudders um, back for a moment. I guess the is the can I shout to Harold and say is it worth going back with the conduit what do I do yes we still need more power okay I'll go back to uh <laughs> holding Shh, then you grab onto it sure yes yeah, so yeah. you rush out for a moment and then grab on and begin focusing the energy uh as you do uh the right hand uh is going to come in uh it doesn't like what you just did, and it's going to punch you really hard. A lot. Do it from here. It's going to punch you a lot. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. That is going to be 28 to hit. Yep. Come on, game lock. Come on, D&D Beyond. You can do it. Too big. It's too strong. 16 wow. points of uh, bludgeoning damage. Um, so Half. if you're raging, that's eight. Uh, and you are grappled and restrained, Ayla, as this thing wraps around you, like grabbing you in its in its, in its palm. Um, and you can see that as it grips you, you can begin to feel like necrotic energy pulling at your life force. Uh, Lucius. Seeing the grapple, grappled. I'll try and snap out of whatever I'm going through right now and sure. focus a chromatic orb on that hand. Okay, sure. At sixth level. So here we go. Plus 10. It's a hit. It's a 23. That's going to be a hit. And it's going to be acid as well. 8d8. Okay. That's 31 points. Uh, 33 uh, points of 33 acid. points. Whoa. As the acid splashes over the hand, where it grabs Ayla, it, almost in a reaction, the the intensity of the blow causes it to drop Ayla. You are no longer grappled or restrained, Ayla. I send Thanks, 11 points of dichromancy at that red eye. Uh, yeah, she can, yeah. Yep. Uh, it still hits the creature. The, you know, yeah. There's no cold shots in D&D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, but you do kind of splash over and it kind of turns its head at the last second, uh, causing it to spray across its faceplate. Um, but yeah, definitely still injures the head. Uh, seemingly, yeah, your magic... For a moment there, Lucius, you couldn't feel magic. And then Ayla hit the head and then it, it came back on like a light switch. Like you kind of went, oh, uh, and then you could still cast. Um, Nova. Um... So we're all connected to magic right now. Is the conduit, is the magic kind of flowing through Nova at the moment from the conduit? Or 
Um, it's the, the magic has returned. Yeah, the, the, as soon as the the head's central eye turned off, magic seemed to came, come back in, and you're now sort of holding back onto this thing. I'm I'm hmm, I'm kind of wondering about like maybe throwing some of the magic from this conduit at the eye at the. Mm -hmm. You don't really have control of it in that sense. Like okay. it's you're like holding like two pieces of chain and it's just going through your body across, like using your body like a like a conductor. Yeah. Um in which case I would like to uh I'm gonna cast Wall of Light um mm -hmm. and bring it up over um the head unit. So okay. 15. It will still be able to see over it because this is a huge creature. Um, but it will Can block I stack up. it up? You could do, yeah. Like it depends on how you can build 60 it. It's 60 foot. It's 60 foot and I can stack it. So uh, I'm pretty sure I can stack it. I'm pretty sure I've stacked it before. Uh, the wall can what's be up to 60 what's, feet what's, long. Uh, actually, let me just uh, cast on 2 two. Oh, God. Ignore that roll. Um, but I've just done it so you can see the text for it. Um, but like a shimmering wall of light appears at a point I choose the wall appears in any orientation I choose horizontal vertical diagonal free floating or rest on a solid surface it can be up to 60 so I probably can't it can be up to 60 foot long 10 foot high and 5 foot thick um, it blocks line so of you, sight you could you do it in like it. the very middle but the because the thing is so big it's still not going to block mm -hmm. its vision it will be in its way like you'll still have to make the saving throw and mm -hmm. stuff it will still affect it it just won't completely block it okay. from seeing in but it will give um, you like a, one... if it's 10 foot wide yeah. it would do sort of like wide. 60 foot long I'm just so trying 10 to foot think wide would be like an arm that and then what well. you could do is you could do it vertically. Well, that's the thing, though, is if you want it to go along the ground, this thing's going to be able to see over it. The hands will be able to pass over it by these giant okay. holes. If you did it in the centre, you could make it 60 feet up, but 10 feet wide. So it covers the entire, like, space from floor to ceiling. So this thing would, it I'll would block one. its vision, basically, to an extent. I'll do that one then. Um, so it goes sure. up. Yeah, um, so it's like a column rather than like a wall. It's like a column of light. Yeah. Um, so could you make me a constitution saving throw, which it probably will make. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, um, everybody head. don't forget as well, because while the protect protective aura is up, you still have plus one to AC and plus one to saving throws. While the uh, there's is a 24. Up, so. 24, yeah, okay. So it's going to be half and you're not going to be blinded. But. Okay. Um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 points of radiant damage. Uh, half points is eight. Uh, that'd yeah, be eight. Yeah, eight points of radiant. Um, now this column of light is in the center of the uh, the kind of in front of this thing. Two. All good. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, if it ends Se its turn in the wall, it takes more damage. So. Uh, sure. Sentry. I'm going to move on down to the left hand here. Um, and I'm going to cast uh, Enlarge and get big time. Um, get big. And then as a bonus action, I'm going to harness divine power and regain a level two spell slot. Okay. Full turn? Full turn, thank you. Okay. Sentry, you're the one who sees this. The cannon hand, which you're currently facing, the left hand, uh, you see it beginning to glow inside. Uh, I'm going to roll a d3. Three. Oh uh, yeah, it seems to kind of glow with power, but it's just going to try and slam into you for now. Um, okay. That is a 30 to hit. That does hit. Christ for 19 points of damage as it kind of just poof, slams into you and you can begin to see you feel heat building inside the barrel of this giant arm cannon as it does mm. uh quill uh i would like to cast an aura of vitality um okay. or one action and i will uh use the 2d6 as a bonus action on this turn to heal um Ayla, who I think took the most damage in this turn, also from the healing as well. Not the healing, the uh, conduit thing. So you heal for seven. Um, 
and I'll be able to keep the aura of vitality up for future turns as well. Uh, and that's okay. my turn. That's me. Okay. I'll back up a little bit as well. Just I don't want to be nearby anyone else when this cannon goes off. On the heads go, the red central eye illuminates. And Nova, I hate to tell you this, but with the anti-magic, your wall of light is going to disappear. 5, 10, 15, okay. Yeah, the cone basically fills the space. Like this. Oh so my god, did I light. just evade the... <laughs> uh, no, the I just didn't fully extend it, Quill. It's a 60-foot oh. cone, so... It goes, it, actually, it goes one just... space further. No! Okay, yeah. so so my aura of vitality is also immediately down. <laughs> let me, let are, me they, are they it. dispelled or are they just blocked? Like, or is it dispelled? So uh, let me look up the spell anti-magic field or anti-magic, whatever it's called. Um, buh, 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 buh. Spells and other magical effects, except those created by an artifact or a deity, are suppressed in the sphere and can't protrude. So it just it is suppressed. So while the while this anti magic cone is activated, the wall is not there. It's like the section that he's looking through disappears, and it's like the wall just isn't there. Um, but you so said I would say like artifact. the sections of not that is in like yeah Tiangong's so an artifact. So the rod would be fine. Not, is the rod no, the, the rod's rod not an artifact? Fine. It's just a magic item. An Isn't... artifact is a specific type of okay. magic item. Yeah. Got it. An artifact is like a specific thing of magic item. Um, okay. Yeah. Magic items, spells, magical travel, dispel magic. Like, none of this stuff works, basically, as long as it's in the cone. Magic is shut off while you, it is in the cone. So, Sentry, you are narrowly <laughs> missed by this cone. Like, you're in large. Everything else still seems to be working, but everybody else, it seems to completely shut off. Um, as it also does so, it is also going to fire three rays uh, from its eyes, its five eyes. Uh, it is going to shoot uh, Nova. Um, it is going to shoot a black ray at uh, at oh. Ayla. It is going to shoot a, uh, a sort of pinkish ray. Um, and then at Quill, it is going to shoot a uh, yeah, gray ray. Um, gray? So... Nova and uh, Quill, you both need to make... Uh, Nova, can you make a deck saving throw? Quill, can you make a con saving throw? And then, oh. Ayla, I've got to try and hit you with an attack roll. 13. 23 to hit Ayla. Yep. Yep, hits. All right, Quill, uh, you were struck by this black ray. A uh, gray ray. I thought I got uh, 19 ray. necrotic damage. I got a gray ray. Yep. I got black. Is it still 19 necrotic? Okay. 19 necrotic. Nova, when this black ray hits you, it hurts. Is it a spell? Or does it work like a spell? Um, again, not really, but this is okay. I hate how D&D phrases like spell because this is basically a spell, but it's not. Because um, she would be in your aura, wouldn't she? Yeah. Uh, also, does Tiangong can is is the, is Tiangong an artifact? Because I'm like yes, mm -hmm. but your warlock powers don't come from an artifact item like that. There's no phrasing. They're still class abilities. Um, okay. You can't get around it that way. See, that's but Tiangong himself is still sentient. It's so Tiangong is still yeah. like there, but you just you can't access your powers while he's active. Um, otherwise, any warlock could be like, I'm a Hexblade warlock, I'm immune to anti-magic now. Um, it just doesn't work that way. I'm trying to decide on if this counts as a spell. Well, if it's like oh, an energy D &D. Thing kind of thing, then like... No, you, you do you, boo. So normally this is it's an effect taken from a beholder. Um, hmm. If it's like an Actually innate saying that. thing that this creature can do naturally, I say naturally, it's a giant mechanical guardian Meta. thing yeah yeah but if it's like something that the race can do naturally then i guess it's not really a spell yeah actually it's a natural ability that's a point i'm gonna uh, uh undo that damage tom that 19 damage um okay. it can't actually use its rays in its own cone and it would know that so instead it would basically be targeting everything at sentry uh that it can see oh because it oh. can't physically shoot you guys while the cone is active um 
So, and it catches most cool. of you by doing it in the middle. So, it's a good point. It can't use its rays in its own cone. So, Sentry, it's going to choose to shoot you with... Uh, it's not going to use... Can you do a... I'm going to do an attack against you. And can you do a dexterity saving throw? And yeah. I'll make two attacks against you. Alrighty. Sorry, Sentry. No, you're all good. First 19. one's a miss. Second one is a miss. 19. Uh, okay, you succeed. Uh, and Wow. Is... You just avoid all this. Yeah, well, it's not avoid it. Sentry fucking tanks it like a pro. Um, and the nice thing is, is on the big nasty black ray, if I admit, if it if you succeed, it just does no effect. The black ray, you sense how powerful this is and you kind of throw yourself to the side. You watch as it hits a section of the glass staircase, it disintegrates it into dust. It just oh, God. turns it to a dust as it strikes it. Um, In another world, the two that other rays. Over. They strike you, but you manage to deflect one with your shield. And then as the other one hits you, you sense it trying to weaken you, but the Matrix kind of staves it off and you manage to kind of uh, debuff this this ray effect that it's projecting. Um, nice. That is the heads go. Ayla. So magic is down again. Yeah. So can I, if I go towards the head at this side yep. I'm not in its ray yeah I mean <laughs> technically your so. characters can't see the ray but yes you when you move forward you suddenly realise like oh my belt and magic's come back on like, I mean if she was going like this across going. the line she'd probably go oh wait ah, yeah exactly ah. that's like the way I see it is Ayla rushes just straight down and is like oh mm. hang on a minute if I stand here my hammer's glowing again Huh. And, yeah, also, my so. muscles are four times bigger again. Well, no, because it's the belt makes her stronger, yeah, not her yeah, muscles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll give it a couple of whackings in sure. the face, please. Sure. So, 20 to hit. Uh, 20 does hit. Ooh, nine. Stop that. 20. Total damage 20 points, on the first one. Twenty points of damage. Whoa. I that went away. I have just rolled another natural twenty. Jesus Christ! <laughs> nice, <laughs> amazing. I'm what? Go, go roll the damage. <laughs> um. Good stuff. Thirty. Uh, so forty-one. Plus 3d10. Big maths. It's all maths. 60. Tom hates silence. 60. 60. Hate silence. <laughs> um, the, and a dex. The hammer comes smashing down gouges a huge chunk out of this thing's jaw and you watch as the central red eye powers down once again. The and wall the of decks. light springs back up. Okay. Oh, does my... Uh, do I still have concentration? Yes, it only suppresses the effect. You were still concentrating on it and everything else. So. Okay. Right. Sweet. And then deck saving through. Yes. And it's 16 uh, that's a is the total. 16 oh, lightning. 16. Um, Lasting this thing, you can see the like armor plates falling off the head, smoke pouring out of it, but uh, still functional. The arms certainly don't show any sign of stopping as well. Yeah. Um, now that magic's back, I guess I'm just gonna jump back and just be <laughs> like, on. Harold, hurry up! <laughs> it is not up to me. It is simply the time that it takes to charge. What is happening down there? How much longer? <laughs> few more moments uh right in that case mm, i think this is this thing yeah it's gonna just try and grab ayla again uh as the hand comes in whack 30 to hit ayla mark my ac is currently 20 I know. with i the just thing. rolled the damage so, yeah, yeah. i just rolled the damage yeah. uh 28 um you are raging yes so 14 yes. but you are grappled uh, and restrained but still channeling the magic. 
just about, yeah, you're, that's all you can really do is you're holding on to these gauntlets while you're being crushed by this thing. Lucius. Mm. I think Lucius, whilst there is this moment of respite, he's going to focus on the, the head okay. of it. So he's going to, again, go for a high power. You'll need to move Lucius as the wall of light currently is blocking your line of sight. Okay. So, uh, there. there. Yep. So you rush across to the side of the room. Shoots. He almost sits down on this, like trips into this <laughs> ice, glass ice chair. Ice chair. Glass chair, yeah. And then <laughs> fires a chromatic orb at level, the fifth level this time. Don't sure. have enough font of magic to twin it or anything. Oh, that's only a 13. I do have enough, however, to try a, a seeking, seeking spell. spell. Are you going to do it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Need these things to hit. Here we go. Oops, it says fireball, but it's plus 10. 18. Is that enough? No. Just hits the head. Oh. Uh, the armor plating weakened by Aeolus hammer, it manages to, you know, strike true, just avoiding the wall of light. Excellent. And here's my damage. Looks pretty all right. Um, 37 points of acid damage. 37 points of damage. Noggin. You watch as this wave of acid conjured by Lucius's magic streams forward and just cascades over the held, melting pretty much all of the head away. Oh, no. Oh, great. <laughs> you got this, Lucius. That was amazing. Wow, uh, nice. And then 10 dichromancy to the stage Left right. Left or right? Yes. So the one that's grappling Ayla. Yes. And 10, 10 points. points. <laughs> throw the acid in it kind of coats the hand but it doesn't let go this time seemingly not enough of a strong blow to cause it to release its grip uh nova um i will channel the wall of light to strike out the hand that's grappling um ayla uh, okay. so i make a melee spell attack uh that is a 17 to hit that is not enough it glances off the hand's armor uh just cool. glancing off of it Anything else? That's all I got. That's all I got. Sentry. Um, how's this uh, left hand looking? Uh, pretty much untouched. It's glowing it with power. Yeah. Okay. Can I try and get underneath it and like lift it up so everybody's out of like its range? I, that to me sounds like you want to grapple the giant hand, uh, which you absolutely can do. Uh, so you need to roll to hit it with an unarmed strike, and then it'll be a contested strength check. Sentry with all the cool plays here. I love it though. I love it. High five. 19. 19 hits. Yeah, so now just fun. roll plus strength. Uh, plus strength. You should play rock, paper, scissors with it. Hmm. With itself. Oh, 24. You, oh. Uh, you are push yourself and you're trying to lift this like giant hand to push up and you're, you're straining, you're succeeding, but then it seems to just push down on you and you're, uh, it kind of pushes you down in towards the ground, unable to really find purchase. You're still grappling it, but it's just this round, it's it's won the contest basically. Okay. Faradus. Oh, you do get um. a D4 for being enlarged. That's true. Oh, um, oh, you need to roll again. Two or higher. Two or Was it a saving throw as well? Is that no. a saving throw? No, it's not. It's, no, a it's just check. an ability check. Check, yeah. It's a two. <laughs> it's a two. <laughs> it's <enough>. Oh. <laughs> With your giant yeah. form, you manage to push the cannon so it's aiming up uh, rather than like towards your allies and the crystal, and you kind of like holding it up there, like ah, 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 um, as you do so. Cool. Nice. Yeah, cool. That's pretty much going to be your turn, though, because you can't really attack while you're grappling this thing. I just say, like, everybody like get down! As, like, yeah. I'm lifting this thing up. You do. Uh, you can shout that out to everybody as... I'm going to roll a d6 here. Four. You see this thing lets out a just geezer of flames that fills the entire room by the way it just oh 
um, having built up so much power over the last couple of seconds, uh, the flame just completely fills the room. Uh, you all take no damage as it is pointing up. Uh, Sentry literally avoiding everybody from taking what would Holy have been crap. Uh, 46 plus uh, seven. That would have been 11d6 fire damage to everybody in the room. <laughs> and Sentry is like holding it up like... Uh, <laughs> Badass. I mean, you may as well roll it to see what we would have avoided there too. Sure. Do you want to? You know, <laughs> sure. I want to know. I want to see how much damage the room above us just took. <laughs> well, this, oh, this is a very tall building, so it would have been thirty-eight fire damage to everybody in the room. Um, God, fine. Everybody. Sentry just holds it up like an absolute champion. Um, it is going to try and uh, it's going to try and slam down on you. It's going to have disadvantage because you're grappling it. Actually, no, you're not. Re- it's not restrained, so it's just going to try and slam on you, Sentry. Um, okay. As you've ruined ruined its cool thing. It's only a 14 to hit though, so it tries to like mm-hmm. slam you into the ground, and you just resu- resoundly just uh, hold it up. Uh, Quill. Uh, nice. I'm going to do uh, a bonus action heal on Ayla again because okay. getting, a lot, getting a lot of punchies um, is Ayla. Uh, and also, I want to... Uh, where was it? I want a Guiding Bolt. My favorite spell. I haven't done it in a long-ass time. I want a Guiding okay. Bolt, the fist next to Ayla too. Um, okay. So the heal, 2d6. Two healing. Uh, <laughs> yikes. Um, and I've got a plus 13 to hit, so boom. 20, unnatural 20. 20 hits. Uh, and 46 damage to this dude on the right. Nine damage Nine and advantage points. on the next hit. Advantage <laughs> on the next hit. Sadly, what? not enough to cause it to let go of Ayla. Um, still holds her in a grip, but you can see the, the kind of thing glances off against it. Uh, anything else in your turn, Quill? Uh, I'm gonna yeah fly to the south of the room as well. Um, so if this thing does try and shoot again, I mean it hits the entire room. But yeah, I'm gonna move to the south of the room, and that's me. Okay, all right. Uh, the last thing before we wrap up today, you hear Harold call down, Sentry, come up here now. We're almost ready. Just hold on just a few seconds longer. But Sentry, you need to come up here and be ready. Um, is the last thing you hear, kind of uh, Harold, kind of calling down to you. Uh, the the hands are still in position, still trying to like fight, trying to reach the crystals, trying to fight you guys. Sentry, you do also you hear Harold call down, and then you also hear something smash up above you. And that's where we're gonna oh. end today's episode. Oh, oh <laughs> It's got a tail, and it just put a tail through the window now. Like a scorpion we, tail. <laughs> we're gonna end on Yogg's cast. So, Yogis, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to continue on High Rolls d to read out messages and stuff like that. Thanks for watching Yogis. this Yogscast. Enjoy Parsec Pals. Um, Bye, everyone. See you. Bye. On Yogis. Bye. Bye. Um, hi. Hi, High Rolls. Hi, High Rolls. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi. Nice. Hey, hey, hey. So, is it a scorpion tail? Is it a scorpion tail no. through the window? It's not. Or is it just his booty? Yeah. Did he just booty bump the entire is tower? Is he twerking the tower? I but, knew it. Of but, course, also, he if is. his head and hands are at the mid level, how is his booty going to get the top part of the tower? <laughs> his waist just, just slowly up. drifts up. With, it just, just rotates up. Really, it's yeah. really, really good like at twerking, Mark. Yeah, yeah, it's a stripper pole. He's, um, yeah, he's using it as a pole. Like, yeah. you know, he's got the pole that fitness. Move where they, they can do, yeah, pole fitness. Yeah. They can lift their whole body the up. The size of the yeah. thing, when the booty clap, it's going to start smashing windows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice. Good job. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. That was a good job so for what I just said, cool. right? Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> interestingly, I added the mechanic where if the head took enough damage, it would shut off the anti magic cone. Uh, kind of, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have done that because <laughs> I forget that Ayla can just be like 40 points of damage. Meh. <laughs> 40 points of damage. It's fucking off, innit? Like, don't need magic. Well, it's it's off. smash. <laughs> I magic. actually, it's yeah, magic. extra. Smash. He didn't take the extra 48 damage from finishing his turn in the wall, so... Um, it didn't, well, he because he, he shut the wall off. 
You shut the wall dead. off, so it, he didn't take so he didn't take the extra damage for being in yeah. the wall at the end of his turn. Oh, so it did something. It did something. It's something. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's fine. <laughs> Initiatives also worked out perfectly there, where like Ayla could just whack him before mm. anybody else's yeah. turn went. Yeah. So yeah. it's just like he was last, Ayla was first. So it just meant that the anti magic cone meant nothing <laughs> apart from to Ayla, who was just like, well, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> smash. If any of us started our turn without any magic, I mean, I can't do anything. I've got. Yeah. Talons. Yeah, same. Yeah. I think like That's everybody just, but Sentry, no, sir, Sentry please and Ayla no. Be, be <laughs> um, um nice. Yeah. Good job. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. And also good god, Sentry with the Giga plate. Yeah. So good. That was so cool. And again, I want to highlight that because, you know, a lot of people are, oh, why do you do stuff that's not like an attack or a spell? That's fucking why you do stuff that's just fucking cinematic and cool. Yeah, and sure. you, as a DM, you're like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. You know what? It completely misses everybody. And you just, yeah, you absolutely just save the fucking day because that's the cool shit that you spent your turn doing. Oh, like, shit. I fucking love it. And there was a chance that Sentry could fail. Like if she she almost yeah. failed that, but it was only because of the enlarged D4 that she got the to actually lift it up, you know. That's fucking dope. Yeah, that I mean, was it so cost an entire turn and two saving throws as well to make it yeah. succeed. It was deserved. Yeah. Um and then Oh yeah, uh, it earned. Yeah. Earned for sure. Oh. Yeah. It's Good very stuff. cool. Such a such a cool encounter. It's like well, oh, you might be able to tell cool. I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy raids, and I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> two giant hands, and then like a oh, head. Oh, so and they're all yeah. like separate things. And like, if you hit one, it does tough damage. It stops this thing. Go, yeah, yeah, that'd be fucking cool. Let's do that. Like, I, I, I thought about like, that with the uh, when the missile came out. Like, it targeted one person, and you just yeah. have to run it's away like, for ages until it hits you or whatever. Yeah. Uh, or attack. I thought it, it was destroy it. I thought it was. Yeah, yeah. we all hey, need to stop playing that game. No, it's. I think that <laughs> no, I, no. I genuinely think that things like MMOs no, and video games are the perfect it. place to get combat inspiration for D and D because yeah. their whole point is to make those fights fun, right? Like they, they, mm. their design is to be make this challenging, make it fun, make it interesting. Why not use that stuff in in D and D games? So yeah, um, yeah, it worked. Too blooming right. Too blooming, blooming right. right. Language. Tommy, right? Take us away. <laughs> all righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. We have a, uh, another donation from Colo, who previously donated $150. Another donation for another $100. Holy crap. Whoa, double, so much. Wow. Double Thank hundred you. and a half from Colo. Uh, Thank you, Colo. Thank you so much. Thank you. Their last message was, love you guys. This time the message is, how are you all? I'm doing good, thanks. Still love you all. That's it. Thanks, Colo. Still, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Colo. Yeah. Doing great. So much. Doing great. Thank you, Colo. Um, yeah. Wandering Fay, sixty-eight dollary dues. I don't know how that translates. Maybe seventy-five. I don't know. Hey again, high rollers. Been a while since I've donated and may uh, and been able to watch live. I may have binged about fifty episodes in the last week or so to be able to fifty episodes in a week. Crikey. In any case, welcome back, Wandering Fay, and thank you for the generous yeah. donation. Darrow has donated with, I was sure that I was caught up after watching the VOD on YouTube for Nova's war crimes, but the recap for this episode showed me how very wrong I was. So VODs for me still, but I hope to see you all next week. Looking forward to it, Darrow. Awesome. Um, not far off. Not far off. Serico with a full-ass hundo too. Um, thank you. What is, hang on, what is this? The Bond's name, James name, please to what? Bond names the James. Are you all right? Bames nons having a strong call of bondulence. <laughs> and, and this stuff Tom... only makes Tom laugh. Like, <laughs> I don't know what this is. And now that Tom just... has uh, been dealt with, hi guys, been busy, <laughs> but I'll watch you live soon. Take it easy, my dudes. There you go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Sarah. Very generous donation. Varus has donated with no message. Thank you very much. Rock Cube has donated with. You guys are still an inspiring force. I'm uh, always wondering how many things Mark makes up on the go. But I totally did not world build 10 minutes before the session while in the shower today. Nuh uh. Love you guys. And thank you for promoting, uh, for promoing D&D Beyond. Well, there are boys. B O I S. Love it. Boys. 
my boy D D Beyond Reapers Past. I'm gonna Jesus Christ Reapers Past is donated <laughs> with. Finally watched Campaign Two for Critical Role. Who's that? And now I can listen to my main squeezes. Much love. Y'all keep killing it. <laughs> what the Tom, hell? you can't say who's that. <laughs> Sassy little bitch. Well, whatever. Fucking who cares? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Bridge burner. Thomas doesn't Not the fact that Thomas it's doesn't actually represent just our us. friends. Yeah, you know. Yeah. My they, good, they my good friend who have promoted our show considerably, like when we were starting out, let's keep in mind, when you weren't here, Thomas. <laughs> I'm yeah, here to play a rose. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we had some bits from oh MK13Wolf. It was a quarter hundo in bits. Lucius, just box it up and divide it into smaller pieces so they're more manageable. Hmm, sounds familiar. And also Yogg's Dono from Ace of Thorns. Huh? Uh, yep, Mecha Barbara Streisand is in town. Oh, bugger. Desperation, hugs, immediate launch. Stay safe, everyone. Um, Mecha Barbara Streisand? Where does that come from? That's a South Park South thing. Park. Yeah, oh, South and Park. also... Penny Dragon Games also popped into the chat as well, if you're still yeah, there. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you very Penny. much. Oh, hey, Thank you, Penny Thank Dragon you Games. Guys. That's great. We're very excited about Mag of Holding. What Check this? it out. Yeah. Mag of Holding it's kicks right yeah. It's two days. Congrats go on reaching your goal. Go support yeah. it right now, everybody. Yeah, go get it. Go and support also, it. And also, just as a quick... Just as a quick note, don't not just this game, but Pennywise, uh, Penny Dragon, fucking <laughs> <the game. laughs> It's just in my brain now. Penny Dragon Games, they frequently do lots of other D&D like, source books and, and like additional materials, third-party materials. So keep an eye on them. Go and follow their Twitter. Make sure you kind of mm. keep uh, up to date on their products because they're doing stuff all the time. So make sure you, you check them out. Fucking yeah. just, um, can you just change it to Pennywise Games, please, so I'm not wrong. <laughs> oh, like, all the time. Yes, please. Just, for the just one change your whole company name. It. Thank you. Um, yeah. Also, we had uh, Fail donated with, I don't have enough hours in the day to draw all the cool things that just happened, but literally all of that was amazing. Yep, Fail, uh, there's, I mean, there's a lot of Lucius out there from Fail. Well, that's, <laughs> first of all, yeah, I'm like, well, we know you're going to draw the Lucius bits, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so many feels of elf. all kinds. Also, cliffhanger. I shall just sit here vibrating for a whole week then. Really excellent <laughs> episode. Thank you very much, Fail. Thanks, uh, and Reaper's Thank Past. all of our artists as well. Yes. Indeed. And Reaper's Past has donated again with Tom Never Change. There you go. See? Nice. See? You hear that? Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Tom. Um, <laughs> oh, and, and, and Grindmaster DJ as well. Grandmaster. Said, don't Thanks change. Tom, stop don't changing. Change. <laughs> there he goes. What, hang on. What are you doing? I'm, I've got my camera over that, so I can't see the effect. What is this? <laughs> what have you done? Somebody wants to. <laughs> Um, um, Grandmaster or Grandmaster DJ as well. Uh, the list, yeah, should probably pull that up. Hold on one sec. It will be next week. Grandmaster, Grandmaster, right. Grandmaster. Thank you very much. That's all. Didn't they say how it was pronounced last week and you've instantly... Yeah. This is Tom we're talking mm -hmm. about here. Do you think yeah, he... I, I thought about that <laughs> halfway through my sentence. Yeah, he's doing um, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us for today. Very exciting episode. Uh, once again, big thank you to our sponsors, D&D Beyond and Penny Dragon Games. Uh, go and check oh, it out. This guy. Did it. More professional. I did it. But I did it. Uh, more professional wow. I am. Uh, we will be back. Don't forget, we're going to be live on Thursday here on our Twitch channel and back on Yogi's on Thursday, 8 p.m. to play Avatar Legends. Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra <laughs> RPG. First look. Boy, howdy, get excited, because, you know, that's going to be pretty damn cool. And not only is it not out yet, we're going to be one of the first groups kind of playing it publicly, I think. Um, it's exciting. So come and check yeah. it out, all right, on Thursday. Hell yeah. Until then. a huge Hell success. Yeah. yeah. We love you. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Love you. Bye. 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 Love you. Bye.